Jack Thriller City. Oh, yeah. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Hey, turn it right now. Let this shit see in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. Come on now. Go five dollars for a big change. And we're back, man. Hey, yo. I think Goldie said it right, man. We got legends in the city. I said we got legends in the city, man. It's a legendary day right here. Man, yo, um, first I want to give a uh, shout out to uh, 85 South and whatnot. So uh, I'm, that's what we powered by, Channel 85. Make sure you subscribe right now and make sure you go to jackdoola.com, man. If you get caught up on all the episodes right now, not now, but right now, Check out that special I got going over there too, man. But first, let me introduce my co-host and my co-pilots. Yeah, for the day. Hey, I got one of the baddest females in the game. You know, she I've known her like since I want to say 2012, 13, something like that. We over 10 years in and whatnot. And she about her business and she stand on business and she knows her shit. You know, she is the star of ShayStar.com. And you can check her out on Shay45. All the time, man. You know what I'm saying? She one of them chicks right there, man. Y'all give it up for my player partner, my homegirl, my friend, Shay Star. Yes, 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 yes. All that, all that. Hey, show, you show them your school clothes, Shay. Show them uh, your school clothes. Oh, you know, because once show, and desires sh- had me all the way right today. You come know on saying, now. You know? mm-hmm. Look at you. All right, all right. Come on. Get, what, what the young people say? You got that shit on? That's what they be saying. That's what the young people would be saying. Look at God, look at it. Look at it laid to the side. Okay. He, he did it. That's all you? That's all me. It's all you. Yeah, my mama did that. Yeah. Come on, man. That's my what her mama, mama did. did that, okay? That's what her mama and daddy did. My mama did that. I'm glad they met each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, next, I'm about to introduce my uh, player partner. Not just my player partner, but... My blood, my cousin, man. Yo, he created one of the, the dopest dancers in the world. Like I said, even Michael Jackson did it. Beyonce did it. The the the, the soldier boy that cranked that, started that whole like wave, that movement, went viral before yes, viral was viral and whatnot. The shout at LO dance, you know, VIC, the get silly. Yes, sir. Yo, man, what, what's the other dance you did? Them. All of them. Any dance they got crank in front of it ain't nothing but a remix of crank they ain't and crank that soldier boy. So pretty much all the crank that dances, shootout, snap and roll, uh, bird walk, uh, E40, break your ankles, the list go on, man. And, and do you, do, yo, check this. I didn't even know you could do this, but he found out that you can. He owns the Soldier Boy crank Ooh, that thing. Yeah, you don't own play it. With him. Yeah, he he. You can go look it up. He Secretary of State, a dance, patent a dance, first person in the world to in do the it. world to patent a dance. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Dance Come that on, big, you got to do it. Come on, man. That need to be in Guinness, real talk. No, yeah, facts. yeah, one hundred percent. We we gonna we, we gotta make, make that, that happen. happen. Yeah. Hey, sure. if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been even Snoop Superman inside the Soldier Boy video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he told me about it. I ain't never. I'm old, so I ain't know about this young shit was going on. And he put me on. Y'all give it up for Lil Playboy. What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? Thanks for having me back. Thanks for having me back. Thanks hey, for having me back, yes. Jack. Man, dog, it's all about you, bro. You know, nep- it, it, this ain't even nepotism. If anybody deserves it, you deserve it. You a legend, bro. Appreciate it, man. And I thank you. It. Real facts. Big hey, uh, we 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 got my my homeboy. I, I done known this guy. I, I want to say it since it was like two thousand three or four. Man, he came to Uptown Comedy Club. I was performing one night and everything. Uh, and uh, I did this song that I used to end my set off with called "No Safe Sex Tonight." <laughs> and he came up to me and Wowzers. you know what I'm saying. He told me that he loved the song, gave me his real number, became my homeboy. Man, he hails. From Mount Vernon, New York, man. He is a legend. When when stars was stars for real, when celebrities was stars for real, it was, you had to grind to get on. Man. You know what I'm saying? He got hit after hit after hit after hit. And he's my brother. And he's helping me to be the best man that I can be. He touching <laughs> them, he teasing them, all that and make, having them living happily ever after. He been missing you for a long time. And I know you missing him. Y'all give it up for my player partner, my homeboy, Case. <laughs> What up, y'all? Yeah. Let's go. 
you, you, you introduced me. You introduced me on tour. Man, man, yeah. no. Look, Jack, Jack yeah. introduced me on tour from now on. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was you, it. you did it. Hey, that bro, I've been I've been working on my whole, you know what I'm saying, introduction thing. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I've been taking from uh, my man, Carlos Carlos Miller. He's one of the best I've seen do it in a long time. Then you got Sway, um, Nick Cannon, um, uh, one, uh, Boss Wildin' Out. D these people know how to introduce a nigga. The, the Steve Harvey. But you say the best ever. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, Don Cornelius, name. not, not Don Cornelius. Okay, the dude with the with the perm wig, big ladies and gentlemen, the Godfather of Soul, the hardest working man in show business. Oh, uh, Bobby Bird. No, Bird was in the group. I forgot the dude's That's name. That's right. Uh, 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 you know who I'm talking about, though. Uh, 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 um. And he got my phone. And he took him on. He was no matter where he was. That dude introduced him. Even after they be like, "Hey, James Brown." What this man come out? Back. I know exactly who. Uh, Somebody you know exactly Google who I'm him. What was his name? About. Damn, man. Um, and yeah. his family mad at us right now. Yeah, we 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 really tripping. We are gonna have to get a Google fact and somebody bring that back before the show go off and let us know what that is and stuff. It man. was James Brown. Yeah, I forgot. And as who soon, introduced as soon as you hear the name, you go like, that's it. Yes, Spanky yes. Johnson. <laughs> so if you hear it, you be like, ah, oh, that's it. You just make it Johnson, right? <laughs> hey, what's going on? This your boy Jack Thriller, man, and uh, I'm trying to get in shape. So first off, what do I have to do? I have to change my diet. I have to change my mind, and I have to just change my, my, my appetite. So how do I do that? Factor Meals. That's right. Factor Meals, man. It's easy meals prepared in two minutes or less, you know, and uh, if you put in my code, factormeals.com slash thriller50. Hey, listen, it's really easy to do, and I'm going to help you out. Just use my code, factormeals.com slash thriller50 to get 50% off. That's right. Factormeals.com. Use my code, thriller50, to get 50% off. I'm Jack Thriller. And come on, lose weight with me. The journey begins today with easy to eat meals. You know, it is not just good for you. It tastes good too. Factor meals. It's a factor. Get it? You saw what I did there? Head to factormeals.com slash thriller50. Use my code thriller50 to get 50% off. That's code thriller50 at factormeals.com slash thriller50 to get 50% off. Yes, yeah, 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 man. Dog, thanks for coming to the show, man. Oh, man, you know I'm coming to see you, man. Bruh. You know what it is. Bruh, hey, let me tell you something. I'm just, I was just moving back to uh, uh, Atlanta, coming home and whatnot, and my birthday was coming up. Uh, Case was performing at, uh, uh, no, he was just moonlighting. Had a party going on <laughs> already on my birthday, May 7th, uh, back in 2021. No, that was his birthday. Say it again. That was his birthday. Get out of here. Yeah, we was in there. Yeah, that was that was his birthday. Word. Yeah. Get out of here. And me, you, and Nokio, we was in the back. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Hey, 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 the time of my life, I didn't even know what I was gonna do. I didn't even have no plans, and you let me come be part of your situation, man. Those are the best plans, though, when you don't have no plans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those and those be the best stories, bro. But we got to do it again. When we your birthday do it again. is? October fourth, two weeks. In two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, from yesterday. Okay, so what, what you planning on 52, doing, bro? I don't know. I might be putting a biofreeze on my knees. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> god. <laughs> you ain't gonna juicy roll no more, man. Oh shit, no. You ain't, you ain't no more butterfly. It's know. over, my boy. Well, you just gonna flat foot, him, flat foot him from here on out? Yeah, I'm gonna just stand there. I can dig it. I can dig it. Where they, you niggas going? You you yeah. put that shit right out there too, man. Fifty two. Did I say fifty two? Where? <laughs> Man, I went through a lot in these 52 years. I'm happy to be here. They said I was going to be dead when I was 18. Ha <laughs> ha. Get out of okay. here, man. Yeah. You, you were stuck in like that, bro. I man, mean, hold on. I, I remember seeing something on. Oh, uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. So I, now, now it's coming back to me. I'm talking about it just hit me like a boat of lightning right now. You you was a thug coming up. No, nah, I was just in the street. I, I, I wouldn't say I was a thug, but I mean, we were doing, I mean, what did niggas do in the street? What do niggas do in the street, man? Sell Even drugs. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Sell a little wow. drugs. Yeah. That, that shit's so normal. That's, no, that's we so a lot of drugs. Because we <laughs> gotta make it sound good. <laughs> nah, it ain't. It's terrible. <laughs> However. 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 Eleven happened. was eleven. Yeah, it happened. And it, you got kicked out and everything, right? No, I left. You left like the a, house. Yeah. What a reason? Like at a real parents. young age, too, like fifteen. Or yeah, <clears throat> but that was more so because my parents were Jehovah's Witnesses, and <clears throat> they was like. I couldn't live in their house and pursue a career in music. 
That, mm-hmm. And besides that, my pops, for as long as I can remember, was like, when you turn 18, you getting out. Mm-hmm. He said that. That, that. That's back when they did that. Stand like, no, no, no. Now he said it. It was a thing. Yeah. I think he might have had it on a timer. Because <laughs> yes. I remember that forever. Yes. That, and he'd be like, yeah, you, you do X, Y, Z. I kill you and make another one look just like you. Simple that was his joy. So. So real though. Jesus. Hey, I got kicked out at 17, man. And you, and you can't go back home. It's not an option. I could have went back. You could have went back? I could I could have went back. Really? He said he left. But he left kicked out. Own. Yeah. Huh? You yeah. left on your own. Left. Yeah, I left on my own. And the reason I didn't go back, and it was hard because I was starving. It was cold. It was New York. <clears throat> but and it was right around the corner. But I'm like, I want to do music. Mm-hmm. And my mother, you know moms. Mm-hmm. She's like, Yeah, you could just come and this and this. No, I'm good. But I mean, eventually that's I did pride. go back for dinner every, that's not pride. I, I know what I want to do and I can't do it there. And I respect that. So I got to take whatever consequences come with that. Yes, and what sir. kind of consequences come, go, come with that in New York, in Mount Vernon? Being in, homeless in the wintertime. That's what I was <laughs> just Woo. thinking. And that's a different kind of, that's, that's a different, different kind of cold. That's a different. Man, what they call it, brick? Yeah, it was brick. Below. It was brick. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if you want, you got to suffer something to get something. Mm-hmm. Paid off. Oh God! Hold on, okay. wait, wait, wait! You can't skip over that. What? So you you actually was sleeping outside in the winter, in the well, in no, the no, no, no. What I would do, I had I had a whole thing. For one, I I would hang out at the gambling spot. Where all my friends would be there. They didn't know I was homeless, and so <clears throat> I run into one of my friends. Be like, yo, let me get a single. Then a couple hours later, another one. Of them. So now I got two dollars. Well, four chicken wings from the Chinese restaurant was a dollar eighty five. Hmm. What? I, get, I get 35 cent change. So every second day of doing that, I had 70 cent and I could get a can of soda with my four chicken wings. And I, that's what I did. Woo, these internet kids don't know nothing about that. Nah, they they think um, sending a DM is, is grinding. Mm, they don't know nothing about yeah. that. <laughs> that's grinding. Yeah, that's grinding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, how, how many um, DMs you be having to say, let's work? Four of those today, B. Four today? Today. <laughs> today. Young people, what the fuck does that mean? Yeah. Somebody define that. <laughs> what does it's, that it's mean? It's not just young people that say that, though. Let's work. But it, but it means something different depending on who says it. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Because I've gotten that from rerun in Ball Sweat, Tennessee, that nobody know. But Snoop, me and him were talking. He's like, yo, let's work. So it just depends. Because yeah. work is work. You, you know what he work at, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't know where a lot of these I niggas work at. and all that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. That. I'm, del- I'm, 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 I'm blocking niggas every day on that let's work shit. Like, man, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? Nah, I mean, no, let me tell you the best shit ever. So, yeah. you know how the DMs go to the other side. Yeah. What, what do you call that? The, Request. the general or the Request. Uh, Request. Okay. That's, the waiting, that's the waiting room. The waiting room. Right? <laughs> that's the so, lobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait at the bar. <laughs> so, wait. So... One day out of nowhere, this dude, I, I get alert in my comments. He like, ah, you broke, you bum, da da da. He go, I'm like, who is this nigga on this here nag? So some, so I click his profile. I look, he had been DM me less work for two years. Oh man, <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you should I post this? <laughs> the petty of me wanted to post that. <laughs> it That's what it. this is about. Yep, because you Cause didn't you respond. You didn't respond. You didn't but like you, it. You, you didn't see it. If you break that it, all the way down, nothing. you're a grown ass man mad at another grown ass man because he, he didn't, didn't acknowledge you. Mm-hmm. Social media has created so many mental illnesses. It's so <laughs> sickening, man. Advanced niggadom. Man, right I'm yeah. telling you, that's top of the list. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. Uh, so, so the 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 internet is uh, really really crazy, man. Like, did you used to lash out on people when they did that at first? Before yeah, when you, it first started. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. it's like you cannot be that disrespectful, bro. Like you cannot sit there and tell me that you're that comfortable being that disrespectful to me. You don't even fucking know me. Anonymity is a motherfucker. What? Because yeah. if I was standing right in front of you, would that have gone down like that? Man, Most they, of the time it won't. No, absolutely not. You're not even gonna approach me. So what are we doing here? Y'all ever met y'all haters before on the internet? Not on the internet, but I, there was this one girl in Oakland, and um, it was like a video show, and they had a live audience. So this one girl keep just yelling out stupid shit, like being in my business. So then she was like, "Ah, well, fuck you, da 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 da." So my bodyguard, he he got her out. Whole time, I just I just wanted to get his attention. I love him so much. That's the weirdest shit I ever seen. Yeah. Like, so you take any attention? Yeah. 
any attention. I mean, I, there ain't no different from somebody throwing their draws or their brawls on stage. That's very different. No, no, it's very different. Very different, man. Very different. Very different, man. your brawls and your draws. I'm just oh, saying. That's not that. That's, that's really not attention, that. though. Yeah, nah, you feel me? Nah, no. I just, I just want you to see me. You. You disrespecting yourself doing that, but you disrespecting me doing the other thing. No, you're right. not disrespecting yourself by throwing your draws in your bra. Well, maybe no, no, no. But to him, but that's why we here. <laughs> yeah, that's why we here. <laughs> this, is, this is a grown man. Yeah, man, this is, bro. Don't do <laughs> you him. tripping? These draws and bras ain't gonna pick themselves. Hey, you know they I gotta be politically correct well. with the ladies, man. Me. I gotta be politically correct with the ladies, man. That, that, they what, the what, ones throwing the draws. They the ones throwing it. Now it is bad when you when it, like. If you see some real big ones, you'd be like, that's my Aunt Arlene. I know <laughs> oh she in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I see. I don't mind them throwing their draws. I just don't want them to touch me. Can they get like, as long as they know how to throw correctly. Like, as long as they Well, land. draws got a mind of their own. It's yes. like a parachute. <laughs> yes. No. Once they get the air, they, you don't know where it's coming down. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. It's like ejection. Where seat. it might land. Yeah. Wait a minute. No, no, like, when you became a singer, because, you know, that's always been a fantasy of mine. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Oh, you, mm-hmm. when you beca- when you was like, you know, what I'm saying, uh, fantasizing about co- becoming a singer, a singer, was that something that you was just like, yo, I need these women grabbing at my dick, throwing their drawers and their bras at me? Was that inside of your fantasy, like on some? Nah, what? actually, that wasn't part of it because I was more focused on doing what I needed to do. Because if you do it right, that's gonna happen. Mm. So you knew that was gonna happen. Say it again. But it, it didn't even cross my mind. It never right. crossed your mind. It never crossed my mind until the first time it happened. You better not be pantering up in this mind. I promise you, it didn't cross my mind. Till, then after the first time it happened, you being an R and B singer. Nah, you being a you R and B in me right I'm now. I'm a rock star. Yeah. I'm, te- no, yeah. I'm telling you. That you part. know, matter of fact, yes, yes, one hundred percent for these people. You know, yes, I know, one hundred percent. Yes, sir, one hundred. You, you that know, nigga. he know. Yes, he, he's that nigga, yo. Come on, that, that, that's pussy pumper number one right there. The run in the nineties, <laughs> run in the nineties, man. <laughs> Come on, baby, need an assistant. Nah, no, but seriously though, you deserve it. You <laughs> deserve it, bro. You, do you remember the first time that you you ever like uh, um, got this type of uh, uh, instant gratification? Do you remember where you were, where you were performing? What, like hearing the song, or you mean performing from the ladies? Yes, if, yeah, from from the ladies of performing live. It was my album release party. Hmm. Was I think that was the first show that I did, but it was a little different because I was still new to performing, and my mama was there, my girl was there, her mama was there, and it, you know it was all new to me. You know, yes. I'm still finding myself. Yes, but I do remember that night. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So how did you deal with all of these important women in your life and these new this new type this new fame? How, fame. how you play that off? Very yeah. carefully. <laughs> Very carefully. What do, what do young people call it today? Um, they call it toxic. You know. You, so you was yeah. you in one of them relationships where your girl like didn't understand that she with that nigga because she was that chick. So she. I seen that. I seen, oh! I seen you talk about oh! that before. Mm-hmm. I know what you're talking can I, about. Can I yeah, name yeah, drop yeah. or I can't? Or it's up to you. You know we well, good well. over here. Oh yeah, people know. It's I cool. seen you talk about that with Mary before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. She was there, yep. and her mama was there. Dude, well, this at your album release party. Yeah, and, and you said her um her cousin was your hype man. He was my hype. Yeah, J. Bob. Shout out J. Bob. Hey, That's my dog, God. Jamarco. Go ahead, hey, go ahead. Oh, oh, Playboy. You see Playboy over there, right? Him. He's him. Yeah. Get in there. <laughs> Working them real. Hey, hey, I'm just gonna say, hey man, when you got somebody with that uh, statue, you gotta just oh, you know, yeah. it's easy then. No, it's not. It's, you, I would you think still, it would be harder. Still, now, keep in mind, I'm new. Okay. I'm still building a fan base. Okay. So you can't play that other side too hard because yeah. then the fans, you, you're not giving them what they need. Absolutely. Hold on, mm-hmm. hold on, cut. Time out. So you got a name brand woman. Kind of. Name brand woman. <laughs> that I name hate brand you. woman. Yeah, that, that's for <laughs> sure. That's big. That's big for sure. Yes, that's come on, bro. Let's let's put some respect on that relationship. I like that. Yeah, that's a name, name brand, brand woman. woman. <laughs> okay. If, the, women ain't going to stop liking you, but when they find out you got a name brand brand woman cuz they they want to feel like they're on your on her level. Hmm. So they yeah. going to do everything they can to try to get your attention whether you say you with her or not. Well, now, they if you doing got that. a regular degular chick, you know, then they 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 they, they I can see them being Unless extremely she could fight. Hmm? Unless she could fight. It takes like two fight. shows if she could fight. 
It didn't stop that. I've seen that happen to people too. That's right. Because you, you keep in mind, I, I this this had just escaped me, almost escaped me. You're from New York. <laughs> yep. So Very much yeah, so. they they were scrapping back then. You was that was almost the warriors time. Yeah. Yeah, with, with bottles and everything, right? Yes, and razor blades in yeah. their mouth. The hawks and the, and the lords. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the women went harder than the dudes yeah. up in there. Especially behind her. Nigga, don't play with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yo, how did you Yeah, how did you deal with that? Did, did your girl ever have to fight your fans off? Nah, she tried to. But, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm here, so I guess I got through it. You got through it. You got through. Now, um, I, I was seeing something um, on uh, on a special one time, and it was talking about you in that particular situation where you, you was trying to, you know, what I'm saying, you know, get some support and put her in your video, but because you all were on different labels, mm -hmm. why couldn't they honor that? I, I didn't understand why she because they don't make care about appearance. that. They they don't care about that. They were what was the what well, was the not, they not supposed to because that's their artist competition. Yeah, right. that's that's their artist, mm -hmm. and so they're protective over because they they own the name, the likeness, the music. So they're protective over what you're gonna allow people to. Because that's like to, them endorsing yeah, what he got going on. It's a conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's not necessarily conflict of interest, but they they're brand conscious. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be a conflict of interest, but they're gonna protect their their investment, and my people are gonna do the same thing. And it, you know, that's that's just how that goes. But yeah, they told us she couldn't do it. Actually. I'm trying to think that the dude say forbid, which is probably was the worst thing to say. I think forbid was the word that they used. Somebody Definitely. said forbid. Yes, it sounded like some Adam and Eve type. Yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. And like, so let me ask you: How did you move around that and even it become a thing to where this was public? Y'all was a like a public. Couple. It wasn't supposed to be though. It, it wasn't supposed to be. No. So is this at a time when somebody it, snitched? Somebody snitched. Yeah. Mm. Somebody, did, did, did. somebody called Wendy Williams. Got oh, you. Man. Damn. <laughs> and and me and my brother was in the in the, now mind you, I'm fresh off the streets. This is all new to me, but it's even more new to him. Mm -hmm. So we in the car and he's sitting there, and you know, Wendy Williams show was four hours. So he's looking at me, he's like, hey yo. He was high as hell, because you know that nigga. He like, I'm like, what's up? He's like, hey yo, B, you realize the whole Four hours of the radio been about you. Wow, that's fucking crazy, B. I'm like, I ain't thinking about that, <laughs> but I'm gonna deal with this shit because I gotta go up there in a little while, mm. right? But yeah, so somebody snitched. Uh, it, that's that's how I got public. Now, would you say that 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 helped your uh your the, the cachet of your business, or would you say that it kind of you know hurt you because you know you come from an era when mm. you uh, R and B singers they're they're mysterious. You don't know right, right, right. their personal life. Mm -hmm. Right. I think it. Um, at the time, I, I don't think it affected me at all. Actually, I, it actually good or I, bad. It, it was. I, it is it what, actually, what it was. Well, I can say that it helped. If for nothing else, because she wrote "Touch Me, Tease Me." She wrote that. I mean, we we wrote it with her, but she wrote most of it. Basically, she wrote it. I'm I'm, I'm gonna say that she wrote mm -hmm. it, as far as I'm concerned. Hold on, cut, cut. And then she wrote three other songs on my first album. Wow. Mm -hmm. nice. And got in the video, it got yelled at by the people in charge. So I would say, help me. I didn't know Mary wrote, like, I didn't know she wrote. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, if you, and now, 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 that, you, now that I go back and different. listen to it in my head, that sounds yeah. like, yeah, wow, that's crazy. Just like when he just played, I got you. She wrote that too. Oh, wow. 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 She wrote Mortal Love. She wrote, um, it's one more song. It was four she wrote. Whatever the fourth one was, she wrote that too. <laughs> so, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, it helped. Because he, here's what I saw when I was on the road. They don't care. they like, well, she ain't here. Mm -hmm. Especially back in those days. What, no, no, that's, that's, that's no, no, right no, no, now. No. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's that's way now. worse now. That you that think it's worse now? Stopped. Back in those days. I'm pandering. Did you hear what she just <laughs> said? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, what, what, what was that? Yeah. Because it was, I said, because there was no cell phones back in the day. So Ooh, the instantness oh, wow. of it. Oh, wow. Okay, now you're you know? making a point. Okay, you know, because so it was a lot easier to hide those relationships. Like, oh, it, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it yeah. had to be leaked to a Wendy Williams for the world to hear about it. She was social media. You see what I'm saying? But let me tell you the thing about Wendy. And to this day, I'm not sure why. Remember, she used to blow everybody up. Mm -hmm. Radio, tell all your business. Mm -hmm. She never did that to me. Mm -hmm. what, what she would do is people would, would because back then people would fax her stuff. Like, mm -hmm. I saw Kesa, blah, 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 blah. Facts. Mm -hmm. It's and crazy, she would, right? She Are y'all listening what a fax to is. this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you and, listening and to this? Everybody else, she would blow them up. She would call my cell phone and be like, hey, listen, I'm getting these faxes. You need to move different. Mm 
And then to make it, I guess, even better, I'm like, she never flipped on me. She must like me. <laughs> not like that, not like that. Nah. I mean, like, a, yeah. like not that kind of like. Who yeah. would you to hit it back then just to keep her out your business like nah. that and control nah. the narrative? Mm. Okay. No, nah, I, I, I wrote the dice. But, we um, ain't talking about today, Wendy. We talking about back in the day, Wendy. Yeah, yeah, nah. Okay, cool. Yeah, nah. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Nah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause Stop she, it. She a friend. Yeah. She a friend. Because that's, that's your friend. Yeah, when I'm your friend, I'm your friend. Got you. You got to see what you did. Yeah. That's it. I see what that was awesome. Yeah. Friend zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a friend. You a friend? I, I, I friend. also seen you said uh, you used to bring your friends into the hotel room with you too and her uh, cousin. Cool. Uh, cool. You said you used to bring some of your friends into the hotel room with, your with you after your uh, oh, after the show. Oh, yeah. But remember you just said your friends are just your friends. What's levels to this? It's different friends. Mm. You got friends you go to the club with. You got friends you go, you got some serious shit with. You got some friends that show up to court for you. But Wendy wasn't one of them friends you would bring to the hotel room, is what I'm saying. Nah, that, nah. That's a different type of friend. The media friend. Yeah, yeah. Then the people you got to keep, keep, keep on and your side. That. You know, you got to keep them on your side. Yeah, but she never did it. She, she would always call me and be like, hey, listen. I'm getting, she's like, if you don't believe me, I'll, I'll fax them to you. I'm like... Y'all some snitches. Like, for real, B. I mean, to the point where people people call Whitney Williams, like, I saw Case last night at the Shock Bar. He was with some girl, blah, blah, blah. It was my mom's. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it, it was my mom's. But people just talk. People just talk, so. That was the tip line back in the day. Uh, and man, she, used to, she has stacks Crazy. of faxes. There's a rhyme in there somewhere, but she has yes. stacks of faxes. And she'd be like, this, this, I'm telling you what I'm getting. I'm not going to put it out there. You just need to move different. And I was going to say, and I think then fast forward maybe a year and a half later, her husband, I mean, at the time he wanted to propose to her. Wendy Williams' husband? Yeah. Okay. When he walks up to me, we talking. I'm like, nigga, me and him was in the third grade together and never oh, realized it. Shit. Get out of here. <laughs> How it's, did you find out? Because somebody that was there went to our school and she was like, Y'all don't know each other and pulled out the class picture. I'm like, there, wow. that is us and Miss Murray. Y'all was, was in the same class too. Same class. We was in Miss Murray's class. Right. Yep. Wow. And hey. so and so I sang while he proposed to us. So I was like, oh, she ain't never gonna tell on me now. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you I'm, do that, right? <laughs> but before, she wasn't telling before that. Mm. So I had to sing. I'm like, where the mic? <laughs> so people, it is boundaries in this. You know. So do saying? you think she was trying to uh, put Mary out? When she told that business? She didn't tell it. What happened was um, somebody, okay, my producer that I was working with and the label I was on, he was messing with some chick, had her thinking she was his girl, oh, but man. he had a real girl. She mm. found out, so she went to blast him. Mm. But nobody really knew him at the time, so she was like, all right, I'm going to have to up this. So she told on me. But Wendy kept it gangster. She was like, there's an um, a R&B princess and an R&B newcomer and this and this and that. So everybody's trying to figure out who it is. And then somebody, I'm not going to say the name, you know, because we're friends now, called and was like, it's, it's her and him. And the cat was out the bag. Mm. Oh. But before that. So a caller called on the station exposed you. And said who it was. But, oh. but the thing about it, and this is what you said about cell phones, before that, me and her had left a party and... Now, mind you, we keeping it low. Well, that night, the alcohol was like, hold a hand while you walk out the club. <laughs> <laughs> so we walk out the club like this, hand hand, and the whole club was like, oh! So if it was phones, that would have been over. Yeah. yeah. Paparazzi was Oh, yeah, it would have been over. Yeah. It would have been over. Yeah. Fact to fiction. Did you and KC fight over Mary? Like, That's get very much fiction. Fight? That's very much fiction. Nah. That's fake. That's so fake. Somebody told me that recently. Yo, I heard. That's the, nah. How did that even start? Because people say all tables do. Okay, so you remember, so, nigga said special ed had one hand. People say anything. Uh, that make that makes sense. Yeah, nigga say anything. Nah, I, nah I, we I, never not not one day. It so, might have been some tension between us at some point, but then that's just R and B tension. I was gonna say, was it really about her, or was that just R and B though? Fifth. But what I'm saying is, um, <laughs> one, two, three, four, fifth. <laughs> but no, no, like, and then once we sat down and we talked. It was cool. And we've been, we've been tight as hell ever since. Like I spoke to him the other day on his birthday. Dope. That's what's up, man. It was, yeah. It's, it's, Dope. Like, and I think that just in general, like people get into these big beefs and and it, and it escalates, it escalates. A lot of times just a conversation. Mm -hmm. 
Now, sometimes it's not, depending on what the situation. But most situations that we as as black people is killing each other, and it, it's shit that can be talked out. Mm. Like what my man Wishbone said: uh, put down your put down your ego, put down the guns, and, and you know what I'm saying to talk it out. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah. You know, okay. Now I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm a really big R and B fan. I got a lot of R and B um, uh, singer friends. Mm-hmm. But one thing that I noticed, while you know being R and B singer, for, a lot of y'all don't like each other. What's up with all that R and B for real? Because matter of fact, yeah, it's, we have a game called that <laughs> on Wildin' Out because R&B. of that. Nah. Where we go back and versus, you know what I'm saying, the opposite team. Oh, and but if you if we go base it off of verses. Well, I, I'm basing it. See, off. I get along with everybody. I I never really had beef with no with nobody. Mm. Because, it, but you've seen it though, right? Yeah, I've seen it. But and I mean, and, and I've, I've heard stories like, oh, uh, you know, somebody not wanting somebody if they, they were the headliner on show. Yeah, that's pillow fight. They, that ain't that ain't beef. That's a pillow fight. Y'all arguing over dumb shit. But that ain't me. I love everybody. So when you headline on the show and I you hate got headlining. you you said again, I hate headlining. And why is that? Because them motherfuckers be tired by the time the headliner get up there. They did. It is. It, it yeah, do like a lot I, of show. I did a festival one time and um. They wanted me to headline. It was like eight o'clock. I'm like, yo, that crowd was dead. Mm. And then somebody was like, yeah, they've been here since twelve noon. Oh Stand- shit! Oh, of course they. Yeah, I don't like headlining. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm cool on that. Headline is like yeah. sex, you know. The foreplay is where it's at. Cause that's when it's real good. Did yeah. You? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. I, mean, I love you. No. 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 We not gonna, I, we're not gonna I, put I, no smut on sex is next. No. God. <laughs> Sex is my nigga. That's my motherfucking nigga. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, you going for the long haul. Okay, not the beginning stuff. How dare you? No, no, all that. All of that. Yeah, but it ain't got nothing to do with headline. You just, yeah, you just made it weird. You're tired. I might never have sex again. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm over it. I am. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you want to try again? Yeah, I don't care about headlining. <laughs> I mean, people have beefs, but that's not real beef. Mm. That's just ego at the time. You seen the five heartbeat? One hundred percent. That stuff been going on since the beginning of the time. Mm. I mean, I've, I've heard so many stories about that from the old heads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard stories you wouldn't believe. I would believe you. I bet you would. Yeah, hey, listen, you would. Yeah, yes. yeah, because you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I even watched the decor with some wild shit. I watched the making of of the five heartbeats, mm-hmm. and even though it was a fiction, no, no, it's, it's, it's they a had each group. other. Yeah, the, the like yeah. What's my what's my man name? Michael Knight. Oh, they play Eddie Thompson King. and Eddie King Jr. Yeah, yes, and uh, um J- JT, which was played by Leon. He really they had hated beat. each other. Yeah, they they was trying to outdo each other for real to the point where Robert Townsend was losing money on the set because he was kept on getting each other shot. He should have used it, and that would have fueled the storyline, which he probably did. From it, what I'm what I it, uh, wow. he used it, mm. Mm. but. Yeah, I mean that's that's not real beef. Was you ever in a group before? Before I got a record deal, I was. Mm. What what was the name of the group? The name of the group was Future, and I, I we we performed at a talent show in 1991. It was a three man group. You you want to shout shout to your dogs out? Oh yeah, my nigga Todd, uh, Todd and Jeff. Todd is my dog, but Jeff I ain't seen Jeff in forever. Wow. Hey T Rex, yes, you know what time it is, right? Man, it's financial literacy time, man. Money Talks with Herman Doshe Jr. Hello, everybody. Haitian CEO. We are live back in the city, back at New Jack Thriller City. We're having a wonderful day in the neighborhood. So this is a tip I want to give you for today. Sometimes... Your credit usage is killing you from getting more funding on the personal side or the business side because the usage is just too high. Did you know you can get a personal loan to pay down the credit card debt? Herman, why is that even worth it? Because credit card interest is killing you. 20, 25, even 30% interest on a usage on your credit card. So some of the best ways to do this is to get a personal loan to pay down the credit usage and the credit card debt. Here's some benefits that happen. You're saving a fortune because the interest rate on a personal loan is cheaper than the credit card. And when you pay down the usage, 
your credit scores go up. I have an amazing institution that actually can help with that, but it's not for everybody, but I still want to give the gem out. If you have a 680 credit score on Equifax and you have a relationship with Truist Bank and you have at least two primary credit cards on your credit report, let us help you get at least a $50,000 loan on the personal side to help you pay down the debt. Just text the number 50 to 1-844-939-3115. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. When you actually got on, did Todd or Jeff reach out to you and say, hey? Well, no, I didn't speak to Well, no, I, I, I was, we had broken up long before that. We, we oh. weren't, we, we tried to do what we did. Actually, all we really did was like some talent shows and we mm. rehearsed a lot. Mm. It, it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? You never made really, it to the studio. Nah. We, we may have, me and Todd did, because Todd was a dope songwriter. Mm -hmm. But it, it it never got to where it needed to go, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, and there was a couple of situations like that, and that, and that's why I always say that things go the way they're supposed to go. And mm -hmm. at the time, you're like, damn, it's not working. But like this, what they say, man plans and God laughs. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's gonna happen the way it's supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. You might not understand it, and sometimes you might not like it, but it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So, because I was, I don't know if you ever uh, the group Balade. Mm -hmm. Those are my people. Mm -hmm. Knew them. Well, I knew Lil Tone, T.O. Cross. Shout out, that's my brother. Since he was like fourteen, um, so we were signed to the same management company because I was in another group. We was a duo, me and my man Brian. Shout out, Bezo. What's the name of the group? Black. Black. Because we were both black. Yeah. 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 <laughs> See. See, I'm. I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I know I'm black, y'all. Yeah. And I'm black, y'all. Black, y'all. Black, yeah. black, yeah. black, Eyes colored. Come yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> and so we were supposed they, we went to meetings. They was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to sign you. So it wasn't happening. Um, well, one of the members of La Day, who was a four-man group, he got kicked out. Mm -hmm. And what they wanted to do was put myself and Brian as a part of La Day mm -hmm. so it would be no more black. And something told me, nah, I don't do that. And Brian, who to this day is one of my closest friends, he was like, yo, dog, they got a record deal already. And I'm broke as hell. Would you feel any type of way if I joined the group, even though you don't want to? I'm like, nah, dog, do your thing. I feel you. So they had a record deal and everything. I was like, damn, okay, just me. I ain't never get in no group no more. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Let's talk uh, writing and uh, publishing. Oh, yeah. Talk to me about, like, when, when you were signing your deal, did you understand the concept of that? Yeah, I did. You did? Hell yeah. It's a very simple concept. <laughs> the The hardest part about the whole is the different types of royalties. Mm. But publishing is a very simple concept. Okay. Just the percentage that you own, yep. <laughs> get my goddamn money. That's very simple. Mm -hmm. And you you had already knew about that beforehand. Hell yeah. Got they, you. Yeah, it was something. I remember, and I never forgot this, I maybe was like seven or eight, and my dad was like, um, well, if you ever do, do music, make sure you write because that's where the money is. Mm -hmm. And I never forgot that. Yep. But the publishing thing is just that that's simple. It's the different types of royalties, the mechanicals, and mm -hmm. the, now the public on the publishing, it's the publisher side and the you know the, the producer, producer has side. money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But no, I wouldn't worry about that. This my side, let's go. No, that, that's very simple. Got you. Got yeah. you. Splits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got to know split your splits. Sheets. That's also, it. Yep. Split yeah, sheets. Yeah, you already sure. know. You yep. know what it is. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. On your first album, when you said uh, you didn't have too much creative control over it, was None. they allowing you to None. do your own writing? Or they was bringing writers writing. in? Um, on that first album, I wrote um, maybe six songs. Yeah. I wrote Rain, What's Wrong, So Afraid, Crazy. I, I wrote a bunch of the songs, but I didn't, I wasn't able to formulate the direction of the album right. because now those those are songs I had already been working on. Hold you know on, formulate I mean? the direction. Does that mean theme? Yeah, like where the album is headed because okay. it, it has to, every, you, it's a bunch of songs, but you got to make it all make sense and make it all go in the same direction. Mm. And so for me, I had songs that I've been writing and working on for years, you know what I mean? And that's why people say, yeah, people had a sophomore jinx. Yeah, because you had your whole life to write your first album. Now you got six months to write, to the, write second the second one. one yeah. That, yeah, that's and like, impress these people all yeah, over exactly. again. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, and that's the pressure. But um, I never knew that. Okay, but think about it. it makes sense. That makes too much if, sense. If you've been wanting to be a singer all your life, yeah. Well, you've been working towards this moment. Well, now it blew up, and now they're like, "Hi, you did it." 
We need a new album in six months. More. It ain't the same. That's not the same. You're not writing with that same hunger. Now you're writing with... No, almost... you, you might be writing with the same hunger, but you didn't have no pressure when you was no writing. Right. There was no pressure. Mm-hmm. You had... You don't know how long you had. You were just mm-hmm. going through it. But now the pressure is like, we need it in six months. That's pressure. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let, let's let's transfer so could, that. Could, could th- I th- ask this one question? Yeah, like, go I for see it. a lot of people go through this now in the in this day and time. Do you feel like that that pressure turned the hunger into desperation? For me? Maybe not so much for you, but knowing where you come from in the industry and where things are now where we feel like we have these industry plants or these just people just came out of nowhere with these crazy concepts and everybody's gotta latch on to it now. Do you feel like that's turned into a desperation for that clout, for that fame, or is it, or that's really who they just were? I believe, my personal belief is that the whole art of making music and songwriting and stuff has been dumbed down to the point of being a legal hustle. Right. And where I'm from, as far as musically, it's like, it's not a hustle of any kind. It's not a legal hustle. Mm-hmm. It's, not, it's, it's you. Mm-hmm. It should be you. You know what I'm saying? When yep. you, when you doing art, and I think that once the internet came, there's a lot of people that was like, yeah, I don't want to go to school, I'm broke, I don't want to sell drugs, fuck it, I'm gonna make music. And there was nobody to stop them. And that's why people be like, there's no good music. There is, there's, good, there's great music out. The problem is, it used to be easy to find, now yeah. you gotta go look for it. Yes. And the internet made it like that, to where people are like, yo, it's illegal, it's like legal drug money. Well, by, just by definition, that makes it not art. You're not putting any love into it. You're not putting your soul into it. You're just trying to make some money. Mm-hmm. And I learned this in the very beginning. Um, somebody very successful told me, listen, don't worry about the money. Focus on doing good shit and the money going to come. Yeah. The money going to come. If you, do, if you do what you're supposed to do the right way, it's going to come. It's a logical progression. And, and so when you say that right there, uh, or when you were writing your, your second album, were you trying to chase the songs that uh, did well and made them uh, Rain-esque? And- nah, that's the worst mistake you can make. Okay. And I learned that from an OG before I got a record deal. Okay. Um, And they was like, listen, when you make a record and it's dope and it's a hit, yeah, you did that. Leave it alone. Don't make no part two. Yeah, th- there's no such thing. And yeah. as soon as you, when people be like, yo, this is part two of the this and this and that. What usually happens is you've already put a certain stigma onto it mm-hmm. that now you're chasing. It's not organic. Mm-hmm. Art should be organic. It should be a feeling. Mm. And and yeah, nah, I never, I never was into that. Like trying to, and like Quincy Jones was like, listen, a lot of songs that people do, you do with artists, you're trying to put the album together, but the artists don't want to kill their babies. Their songs are their babies. So you got to talk them in that, listen, this got to go. To make this, that you have to, you have to let it go. You can't get too attached to it. And I learned that. Like I had a couple of songs. I had this, I had this one song, dog. I love that shit. But everybody, cause I, I don't be around. Yes, man. So I had all my people come, my family. They was like, it's cool. I'm like, this is the greatest shit ever. The fuck is y'all talking about? The fuck are you talking about? So after the tenth person, I'm like. This not the greatest shit ever. <laughs> look, look, by the ten person, I'm tired. I'm like, this shit not great. They's like, I mean, it's this cool, but I mm-hmm. right, fuck y'all. So mm-hmm. I went. I listened to it in my car for like three months, but it, it can't come out. It can't come out. I still think that song dope though. Just to this day. Just to this day. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck y'all. Is, is, is it? <laughs> Would it go right now? Good music go whenever. What you said. Mm-hmm. So what we doing? What year was it when so you made it? So what we doing? 1998. <laughs> It was supposed to be on um, personal conversation. Mm. Mm. Yep. Got you. Yep. Okay. Now, 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 with that same pressure, you know what I'm saying, or that six months thing, now this this 2023, mm-hmm. and I feel like it's, it's so much music that's being, like it's millions of songs being put out. Every, every two hours. Day. A day. Every, every two every hours. hours. Every yeah. two hours. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that you can, you know what I'm saying, duplicate that, get some... Some quality albums right now, you know. No, and if you go through your Apple Music, you see they can't neither. 
how do you feel about this whole sample error? I mean, I know samples have always been a thing, but it's like real big. Like I heard bad. somebody from Def Jam literally tell me that that's what they were looking for was artists they could merge that um, that drill beat vibe with with the R and B. Like they were literally looking for people to do that. That's what they um, want to put their money behind. Well, when it comes to that, I, I feel like. The labels, and that's just a perfect mm-hmm. example of it. They've been flailing for the longest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, am I right? Yes. That, that's flailing. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, well, then we need to, that's flailing. How you feel people call you about your songs that were hits that they want to sample? If I like the song, then they, they got to pay me. Mm-hmm. You And you going to clear it. You got damn right. You okay. had the, uh, the Touch Me, Tease Me sampled by uh, Christian Jones. Mm-hmm. You had the they all got sampled. Lucci 50 and the Trey Songz. G-Unit sampled Happily Ever After. Have a, yeah. Yep. I've done um, seen a lot of them. Wife and Lucci sampled Missing You. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Casanova sampled Faded Pictures. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christian said, actually, it's been a few people uh, sampled Touch Me, Tease Me. So it's a blessing. Wasn't uh, Touch Me, Tease Me uh, originally uh, who, a sample? That's a sample. Yeah, it's yeah. PSK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, actually, they they credit that as the first gangster gangster rap song. It's PSK. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my man from Philly, Schoolie D. Shout out, Schoolie D. Yeah, yeah. W- was you one of the first people to do, actually work with a a, a, a rapper? No. Hell yeah. No. How many times had it been done by the time your album came out? A whole lot. Think about how many. Think about how many. We can go back a few. LL Cool J, I need it around the way, girl. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it been, it, that shit Hold been on, going that wasn't around the same time? Nah, that, around no, the way, girl? You're 95, that came out right? you 95. 96. 96, okay. Around the way, girl came out in what, 80, 89. Nigga, Bad was out. Shut my home. Mm-hmm. Come on, Jack. Oh, you, you 96? Yeah, my shit came out in April of 96. Hold on, get the fuck out of here. That, that nigga was drunk. That was a crazy. <laughs> yeah, but that year, that was the shit. That was, um, yeah, that was a great year for Let me for tell R&B. you, and we all did shows together. Yeah, We all came out of the same, it was me, 112, Jimmy Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Jagged Edge. Jagged Edge. Um, no, Jagged Edge came in 97. That was 97? Yeah, but we all was doing shows together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, you, and you said Genuine too, right? Yeah, G came out. Yeah. Yeah, we, we all came out like around the same time. Was Next out then too? Next came out 97, 98. Yeah. Okay. Like and that. then the ideal is 99. Oh, that's 99, right? Yeah, I'm going to let you have that. Yeah. Okay. So. Get gone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's your shit. We're going to leave that alone. Just, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I love, I, I love, I love ID. I play that shit over and over again. Too long. Donnell Jones. Donnell Jones came out in 96. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was when a it, bunch of them. It, it was a great Hold year. on, let me tell you who else. Um, Carl and Avant, when they come out. No, Carl and Avant came out. Avant came out like 2000. Too early 2000. Um, that was 2000? Yeah, Avant came out too. But there's somebody what about else Joe? though. When Joe came? Joe came Joe out was 91, 92? 90, okay. 93, 94. Okay. Yeah, 93, 94. Got you. Why was I that young listening to that shit? I'm thinking about how old I was back then. See, that's a whole different tell, conversation. Can you tell her why? 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 No, but. Please tell her why. Tell her why she was listening to that. This I'm was a, great R- music. R&B head. It was great so, music, but some of it you weren't supposed to be hearing until you got older. That's what I'm saying, because you say in 96, Touch Me, Tease Me. I was, Touch Me, Tease Me, mm, like yeah. too lit in like fifth, but sixth grade. But let me tell you crazy, like, though. Why? I had this conversation with somebody else. You wanted to be touching tease in fifth yeah, grade. I, I was born in the <laughs> 70s. And so I pointed this, and I said it to my mom. I was like, Minnie Ripperton had a song. The chorus is, you can see inside me. When you, you come inside me, me, come inside my love. Yes. yes. I'm like, Mom, why we knew this song? And yes. we was yes. seven. Yes. I, we weren't even paying attention. <laughs> yes. It yes. went over our head. Not for long. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, but no. That's it was But sexy. it ain't go over your head. No, it ain't go over my head. No, not. I'm talking about my mom. I'm like, why y'all had us listening to that? Oh, wow. Wow. Tell me, why are you so fast? Well, you keep playing this shit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Y'all kick mm-hmm. us out to listen to Richard Bryan. Man, what? Yeah. <laughs> you remember yeah. them days? Yeah. Yeah. They used to get kicked out. Uh, and Cannot my cousin be like, yeah, they about to listen to Richard Pryor. Bye. They yeah. Probably, they, as parents, they probably really didn't think you understood because Did, as an adult right now, watching Tom and Jerry and some cartoons, Ooh, I get a totally different meaning. Yeah, out of yeah. Like, I, I did not child. peep that. And the difference is the kids Growing now up. understand because of the internet. Right. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. right I got, about that. I got, yeah. a, I got a question for you, two-part question. Now, you told us that you let your family listen to what you thought was the greatest album and your family, how they, how they structured you as Jehovah's Witnesses. Mm-hmm. Were we 
I mean, did you always know you were going to be a singer? How close were we to not having a case dealing with your family structure? Y'all were nowhere close. Never. I got Never. I got pictures in my phone when I was two, three years old. And I, my grandmother used to make us do concerts for company. Mm -hmm. What's crazy is I did a uh, a side by side. There's a picture of me at two years old with a microphone like this, and there's a picture from last month with me on stage with a microphone like this. Mm -hmm. It's just crazy. Like nah, so y'all wasn't y'all wasn't that close unless your, I didn't make it. Okay, your family didn't influence you at all. You always knew that's what your goal. Was. Well, they said I couldn't do it. Oh, He's slipping the cold, probably, bro. Yeah, that, yeah that's, that's, I'm just trying that's to a good way to like, get me to do it harder. Where's that transition at? Like, what do you say, regardless of what these people say? I mean, because you listen to them dealing mm -hmm. with the greatest song. So I know your family's influential to you. Mm -hmm. So your greatest song that you felt like was that song didn't come out because, was it because of them or you just decided against it? My greatest well, song? I, yeah. You, the Remember song you, you said, said that was, you know, th this song is a hit. This is the song you said you No, heard. no, no, no. That was in 1999. That was, okay. that was. Second working album. on my second album. Okay. Yeah, that that's different. No, I thought no, they were. I thought they were. You know. No, 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 not was, not that family, not oh, mom and daddy. Oh, when okay. I say family, it's like brothers, like yeah, cousins, oh, stuff oh, like yeah. that. I missed That was young people party there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, not by that time I had left home. Touch me, tease me came out. It was ninety eight. Working on personal conversation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, given given that knowing that they didn't support that, they didn't want that for you. How, what was that conversation like when your mom was there at your first show? Like, how did you get them to believe that, okay, this is who I'm going to be regardless? And boom. My, my thing was that I didn't want them, I didn't want to get them to believe. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get, and this is just part of kind of like how I'm made up. They was going to see, I was going to do it so good that regardless. they saw it. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's how it was. Um, the one thing I do remember from that album release party, and we talked about this recently, is that, um, I had, they gave me they gave me a gold plaque at the party. Touch me, tease me. Had went gold, and my mom was like, "Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you." And I just bust out crying in the middle of the party. Word. I shit you not. Right. I was the first Drake. I just bust out crying right in the party. <laughs> what, did that, what did that feel like to hear that finally after all of those years? Yeah, it, that's that's what it felt. It just. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it was like instantly. I mean, I wasn't bawling, but mm -hmm. instantly it just I just felt my eyes start burning. I'm like, wow. She's like, what's wrong? I'm like. And, and I, I told her, I was like, as far as I can remember, that's the first time I remember you telling me you're proud of me. Mm -hmm. Which was which was some hurt little boy shit. You of know course. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Which we all got there. But you got to deal with that, though. Well, you don't have to hurt little boy shit. Life, <laughs> 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 like, I get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get where I'm going. Yes. <laughs> no, I know exactly what yeah, I'm Yeah, you I, feel I, what I'm saying. The 100%. My mama, yeah. um, she, she didn't like realize what I was doing until somebody... She was saying, "Yeah, I got a son. He he's a comedian and whatnot." Um, I was like, "Really? Is he any good? What's his name?" Mm -hmm. She said, "She said, uh, he goes by Jack Thriller." It's like, "What? Get it, the, the Jack Thriller, your son? The, the dude with the eyes?" Yeah, she's like, yeah. "Yeah, yeah, you you know him?" She couldn't believe that that he, people right that they reacted yeah. like yeah, that. yeah, that people react he, like he, that. Here's what here's what I learned about that. Um, mothers especially, parents, but yeah. mothers especially. Um, Cause me and my moms have had this conversation. She wasn't doing it to discourage me. Yeah, she to was crush my dreams because my dad was in cameo. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I mean for real. When they was yeah, when they was called East Coast. And Get so out she, of here. so her only experience with the music business what is she went through with your them daddy. niggas give cocaine, them niggas mm -hmm. out here messing with chicks, blah blah blah. So in her mind, as a mother. Trying She's to trying to protect you. you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and you gotta respect that. Mm -hmm. Can I ask you this? Uh mm -hmm. so you said your mom uh was Jehovah Witness, so she probably prayed a lot over you and for you. Mm -hmm. So when she's giving those prayers for protection, do you think that was stopping you from getting your deal or get, reaching your journey as fast as you wanted? Because you got somebody praying against something that you're working so hard for? Well, no, Jehovah Witnesses, they not they don't. That sounds more like Baptist and stuff like they don't really do that the like, whole praying over you stuff like that. Theirs is more like um Ain't there's only sixty four niggas going to heaven in Jehovah's Witness. 144,000. Yeah, so 144, yeah, yeah, come on. But have lived after gold, so they said 144,000 and one. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. That, that, that ain't sound you, you ever challenged your mama with that? Nah, what I really with all the niggas that they <laughs> lived on earth. Nigga. Only a hundred and what how many? It's like at the club. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I don't like your shoes. Yeah, 
here's what I realized. Yeah. Um, when you say that's a good question you asked about I challenging. Know. When it comes to organized religion, what I noticed, and this is no knock, it is what it is. Um, they have all the answers until you ask them a question. They don't have the answer to it. Mm-hmm. Then it's like, well, don't question. Yeah, don't no. question God. Mm-hmm. I'm not questioning God. I'm questioning you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you ask your yeah. pastor this? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I, I mean, I noticed that. And I mean, it don't mean no harm. Mm. Like, everybody thinks they're right. The Nazis thought they was right. No, they 100%. Was right. They, yeah. Everybody thinks they're right. The Joker think he is the good guy. <laughs> he kind of is, depending on the circumstance. Now, Cobble Pie, he a piece of shit. I saw what shit. you did. He, he might. I saw he what you might. just did. He yeah. Might. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. That was hard. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I yes, like yes. that. Mm-hmm. Nah, yeah, nah. So I want to look, uh, like backtrack for a hot second, man, on that thing I was talking about with the uh, with the um, with the beef. Anybody mm-hmm. ever wait, wait, turn wait. your with arm beef? Anybody ever try to sabotage your show and turn your music down? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Who said no? Nah. <laughs> oh, you nah. took all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you know what? Now, Bro, we have some, some all pre- interviews. See, <laughs> no. See, I, I'm glad you said something. So, <laughs> nah, let me tell you. So, <laughs> he know what I'm talking about. Let me give you a little backstory. So, Seuss, right here, my manager, mm-hmm. love him to death. I know Seuss because my mama used to babysit him and his oh, brother no. and his sisters. That's so, crazy. I knew him since he was eight years old. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. He broke my mom's light, but we'll tell that story later. Um, and he keeps saying it was my fault. To this day? Yeah. To this day? I smacked the light to hit him in the face. Wow. It was working. Mm-hmm. When it hit him, That's when it stopped it working. It stopped working. You know what? He broke the fucking light. So wow. That's science. <laughs> wow. That's science. No, <laughs> sir. Like, and then he's like, and then you covered my mouth so I wouldn't yell, stop snitching. <laughs> but my point is, yeah, we, we, don't, we don't play them kind of games. Like, I've seen people get into that type of thing and somebody pull the plug. Nah. We we don't do that. K said they don't don't they don't play with him like that. Yeah, they, yeah, mama be but, doing but some he, he always mm-hmm. it, oh you being a bully. See my thing, I like to let people know where they stand. With me, just like every time I see you, it's the same love. One hundred percent. Every time I see Shay, it's the same love. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Conversely, if I got a problem with something with somebody, I say it right to them. Like I, I had a, it wasn't a beef. It was a, a tiff discrepancy, <laughs> misunderstanding uh, about something. And he'll tell you, it was it was a group. I stood in front of the group and was like, yo. Look, bitch. No, nah, no. Nah. Okay, go ahead. No, I was very professional. <laughs> I, I was beefing with one of them because the other one was lying on him. So I was like, yo, I apologize, yo. We cool. I thought you was the bitch ass nigga, but he's the bitch ass nigga. Ooh. My bad. Ooh. So. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Ooh. But wait. And I pointed at him. I'm like. But he's the bitch ass nigga, so I apologize. I love you. Went to my dressing room, so later on, we on stage. This dude, he walks past me and walks up to him, like, yo, Case got a problem with me? He was like, Case who? The nigga you just walked past twice? Ask him. Oh, shit. Yeah. So it's not, it's not, I mean, I say, I, you, you're gonna know where you stand with me. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get no realer than that. Mm-hmm. But everybody's clear. Mm mm. Very clear. Yeah. Very. He's the bitch Crystal. ass nigga. I apologize, brother. Fucks with you. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Did, did he fix that? Who? The bitch ass nigga? The bitch ass mm-hmm. nigga. You can't fix bitch assness. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that, bitch man. Bitch assness is forever. It's like her. It's piece. in you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like it's not going nowhere. You need Valtrex for that shit. Gotcha. <laughs> One a day. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Ooh, three times. For supreme time. problems. Mm-hmm. Got you. So everybody know where they stand. Mm mm. So his bandmate was cool with that? Fuck he was going to do. He probably already knew he was a bitch ass nigga. He had he knew to know it that. Too. His parents probably was bitch ass nigga. Because you know what kind of say? Hate they a nigga, marry hate a bitch and have hate a kid. Right, that part. That's science. They breed him. But no, his bandmate, what he was going to do? <laughs> I said it to him. I ain't say it behind his back. Yeah. yeah. He showed you how he felt. Like a bitch. A- and then he showed he was a bitch ass nigga because he didn't directly address you about it. He had to go to him and ask him. No, when it came up, he was like, I didn't say that. It was him. Bruh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And th- that is some real shit. I was riding in a car with a nigga that, I, that was a hater, and I ain't know it until he called his girl, and they hated on a nigga that I knew that I felt like was cool as fuck. And I yeah. was like, I got to get the fuck out this car. I'm <laughs> yeah. I see this shit a mile away. 
Yeah, it'd it be a lot of shit. Because I felt like a bitch ass nigga in the car with the nigga and him and his his girl hating yeah. on these niggas. This nigga, a nigga this that a you cool was just nigga. That we was all just around. Yeah, I don't like that type of stuff. That shit crazy. If I don't like you, I don't like you. You gonna know it. One hundred percent. If I like you, you gonna know it. If I love you, you definitely gonna know it. Come on now. And that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Like you ain't got to hear from somebody. Yo, yo, I think that nigga. Nah, you ain't got to think. <laughs> he gonna tell you. This how I feel. <clears throat> well, why? We don't have to get into all that. Mm. But you know where, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's how it should be. Because mm. mm. you ain't got to be friends with anybody. No, you don't. It's no. people that you could be cordial with. That's right. That's right. It ain't even necessary. For yeah. You. You we, too old, we too old to be, to be fighting unless yeah. it's absolutely necessary. Mm. Unless my kid's involved, I ain't about to fight you. Mm. Mm. Now, what's one of the biggest misconceptions about you? <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. Well, I, it, there haven't been too many, but I've heard um, people always like, uh, I thought she was mean. I'm like, why? Like, nothing about me says me. Um, Do you smile a lot? Yeah, I'm always happy, even when I'm sad. Even in, in, and even I'm in, always right sometimes. Wow. Always right sometimes. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you, when you get married, it. that shit gonna work. Trust me. You gotta use it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna work. But always you can't right use it a lot. Sometimes. <laughs> you can't use it a lot. I'm always right sometimes, baby. I love you. You look pretty. Hey, I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and missing you was on Nettie Professor 2. Yeah. How does that process even go? Should it's real simple. Damn, I know you're expecting a story, but this is going to be way simpler than you think. Here's the thing. When it goes on a soundtrack, okay, let's say it takes $100,000, just hypothetically, to, to promote a single. Okay. Well, if you put it on a soundtrack, the movie company pays half of that. Uh -huh. It don't come out your budget. And that's why them songs, if you listen to them soundtracks for Rush Hour, Nutty Professor, them songs wasn't in the movie. But the reason they was on there, because, well, shit, I don't have to spend this. 200000 the movie company going to spend it, and they got it. Because of the licensing. Mm -hmm. No, because it's their movie. Yep. Yeah. And they so they have, they have to, to they're for contractually that. obligated to pay half of it. Mm -hmm. I take that all day. Mm -hmm. That was a good question. Because if not, they're going to bill it back to you. 100%. Bill me back half. Mm -hmm. Got you. It's buy one, get one free. Okay. Yeah. Oh, for real. And then you get the marketing and the promotion to yeah, go with exactly. it also. And, that's and, the, and then the only the only caveat is like you we had the clips from the movie in the I was, video. In the video, yeah. I was just getting ready to say two that. More. I'm cool. Yep, yep. I was just getting ready to say yeah. the only reason why people, a lot of people knew because you said it wasn't in the movie, but right. I knew but because clips. those clips. So it's connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yep. definitely. Wow. Yeah. But it's it's a money thing. Mm. Well, now what's the part of the game that you could do without, bro? Like the bullshit, the, the fake shit, the fake yeah, shit. What, what, what is the fake shit? Oh boy, how much time you got? <laughs> as long as you need. There's, there's a lot of fake shit. There's um, there's fake people. Um, that's your friend. They're your best friend mm -hmm. until you start to cool off. They don't need you no more. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what I'm they used to call you every day. Be like, hey, you want to borrow my car? You can take mine. And then you start to cool off. Be like, this nigga don't want my car. I thought, I thought we was brothers. Nah, we not. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's that's something that you have to deal with. Um, when it comes to the higher ups, the business part of it gets in the way of the art. And that really began once the corporations started buying up the labels. Mm -hmm. Because if you go back to like Motown, which is my favorite label of all time, um, if you do the history, the Supremes couldn't get a hit for shit. Well, nope. They was known as the No Hit Supremes. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the Temptations couldn't get a hit. They mm -hmm. was the No Hit Temptations. They even changed their name one time to the yeah, Pirates. Yeah, they was the Elgins. At, yeah, yep. Yeah. And, and the Elgins. Yep. I'm already knowing. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened was because Barry Gordy didn't have to answer to nobody, uh -huh. if he mm -hmm. believed in you, he like, I know I put out 12 records and ain't working, but I believe in them, so I'm going to keep doing it mm -hmm. until it works. You can't do that once the corporations take over. Because I might believe in you, but all they care about is the bottom line. I'm going to lose my job. Right. I can't lose my job. I got kids. So now nobody's thinking about the art. Everybody's in survival mode, mm -hmm. except the artist. The artist is making the art that they feel. The people in charge in charge are worried about the bottom line. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is my opinion. You can't make good art based off of a bottom line. Mm -hmm. You can't. Because it takes the, the compassion and... All of that right. It takes it, it takes everything away yeah. from it because now it's and that's it's not why organic people started. Anymore. It say like Shay came out, she made this song. Oh, that's working. We need a song like that. That's where that started mm -hmm. because them people, they like, damn, I really believe in him. 
but it's almost Christmas. I got kids. I just bought a new house. So what are we doing? Mm-hmm. The art's gonna get sacrificed, and that was, a, and that started right when I got signed. Ironically, I got signed in '95, and that's when Russell sold half of Def Jam to Polygram, mm-hmm. and that was the beginning the of it. The corporations. Yeah, the corporations. Mm-hmm. Dude, I walked into a meeting. I had the number one song in the country on R&B, number three on the pop charts. Mm. Walked into a meeting with the, the corporation people. They didn't know who the fuck I was. Didn't care. Yep. They didn't care. What's the bottom line? Mm-hmm. And if y'all don't hit the number you're supposed to hit, all y'all fired. Yep. <laughs> so that's trickle down. I'm like, yo, I really believe in this song. Man, fuck, you better make a song that sound like that so I don't lose my job. And that's how it goes. And... How public enemy say who stole the soul? Mm. That's how that's how the stole that's how the soul gets stolen. Mm. Cause art is art. It's always gonna be art. That's what got you there in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It had nothing to do with money. Yep. Because when it came to music, not only would I, I was doing it for free. But now that we in this game, I'm gonna do it for free if all y'all are doing it too. And now it's a job. So yeah, now it's a job. Now it's money. Mm-hmm. That's that's the death of it. Damn. Do you remember what your first big purchase with that, where you got that check check? Uh, oh, the check check or the check? <laughs> L- let's go both. Okay, okay so this is, this is my first check ever in the music business. Okay. I had wrote a, well, excuse me, co-wrote a song on Usher's first album. Actually, it's the first song on Usher's first what album. What song? Baby, you know that I can make it right. That's the first song on his oh, first oh, album. Oh, yeah, on the first album. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah, when he was with, got you. Yeah, yeah. Hello. So I co-wrote <laughs> me and Lade. Oh, my God. That's so crazy. So what happened was I had a newborn baby, and we was on welfare. So I was like, yo, I'm going to sell my part of the publishing. And they gave me $4,000. I was like, I'm rich as hell. I went and bought a hockey jersey, a bullshit gold chain, went to the strip club, got my brother's windows bust out his car. It's like the hangover. <laughs> no, it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, it was, but that was my first check in the music business. And then I wrote a song for Christopher Williams for his, for his album. What up, big bro? Which one? song? Where Are You Now? Got you. Yeah. Okay. So those were my first two checks in the music business. Oh, 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 this was combined together? Both of them was? Well, no, they were in the same year. That was the gotcha. check yeah. and the check, check. Yeah, the Usher one was the first check ever. D- d- to get in your business, how much you get for the Christopher Williams one? Probably like a pack of cigarettes. And some and some Chico sticks. Not even, no. No, just the Regular cigarettes. Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> no, no. I mean, you know the game. You know the game. Yes, 100%. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Don't eat all them shits. You yes, eat three. Yes, yes. Yeah. For later. The checks be real, real. So yeah, that was my first check ever in the gotcha. music. Mm-hmm. What um, about the big check? Oh, you, boy. What, what'd you, what was your big purchase when you got that big check? The a house. Big one. The house mm-hmm. I went and bought a house. And uh, um, I, had, I went and bought the, the new, this was in 2000, the new S550. They had just changed the model, the, the, you know, the body style. But nobody had them yet. Mm. So they was like, yeah, if you pay a little extra. I'm like, how much extra? <laughs> so I got it. And, now this is some nigga shit. I was so happy because nobody in New York had it because it wasn't out yet. So everybody in New York knew, if you see the green S550, that's Fat Joe, the black one is Case. I was like, nigga, I made it. And I bought a house. <laughs> My account was like, well, you, you shouldn't spend this much on a car. I did that shit. Damn that. Because I was like, before I die, I want to buy a brand new car at least once in my life. So, that was Do you it. still own that car? Hell no. I too... Dog, let me tell you what's funny. I still that you... own my very first car. No, no, no. Let I me bought... tell you what's funny you that, you, that you asked me that. So my accountant at the time, he was super tight. He was like, well, this is my idea. That's how you talk. I'm not making this <laughs> And he was like, um, what do you want to do? You get a car that you like and you keep it for 20 years like my brother. Nah, I need the new shit every. But that those are my first two big purchases. <laughs> hmm. And uh, he, he's white. Your accountant? Oh, he, very. Got you. Is he, is, is is he white or is he Jewish? Come 
I'm just saying, you know. Okay. Come on. Yeah. Jerome Leventhal. Of course. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that guy. Yeah, yeah, you <laughs> already that know. That guy. Yeah, you know what it is. And, and, if in, in 2023, do you wish you would have did it like that, or you like the way you did do it, and you would leave it the same? Oh, well. Honestly, in 2023, you know what I wish I did? That check was for 350000 I wish I would have took all that shit and bought Apple stock. That's what I wish I would have did. Mm. And then there's that. No, I wish it so much that one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to build a time machine. No, no, no. No, I was like, if I put 350000 in Apple stock in 2000, how much would I have now? I put that in Google. Cried myself to sleep. Oh. Bro, what was it? It was like two, three hundred million. Wow. Because think about it, Apple was just coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you put three fifty, it was cheap as hell. Mm. Like, wow, I fucked that. I could have took half that money, and and then I had a homeboy that was a, a, a um, stockbroker. He was like, "Yo, I want you to put some money here. There's this new thing coming out. What is it?" He was like, "It's called XM Radio." I'm like, "Nigga, what is it?" So he was like, "You you pay a monthly subscription." Blah blah. I'm like. Who gonna pay for radio when everybody got a radio in their mm. car? <laughs> Nigga, you stupid. Mm. He wasn't that stupid. Nope. Yeah. 30 that shit hit. 30 million. It ain't hit like Apple, though. So in 2023, I wish I could take every dime I had and b- put it in Apple. He's like, you got this record out? You ain't got shit? Ha <laughs> ha. So yeah, still- don't play with it. <laughs> 300 million? Yeah. Man, listen. Yeah. That's another conversation. Holy cow. Hey, so you know, you see Diddy just gave back to everybody they they publishing. And um <laughs> and it was a couple of folks that came out, you know what I'm saying, like uh Mark Curry say? uh and uh, Aubrey O'Day. What'd she say? She was like, Man, this shit ain't worth nothing now. It's like eight, nine hundred dollars. You know, and then it was a caveat uh, uh inside the uh, the the uh, the contract that say that you can't say nothing about him, his his business with his mom. Uh, I wonder why. That's doing. crazy. I wonder why they would have that. Right, right, right. I didn't think that went through. Now, w- well, let's be honest. Yes. What was what's the group? Aubrey or David? Uh, Danny D. Kane. Danny D. Kane. They shit wasn't worth. She they published it wasn't worth nothing back then. I didn't know that. But she said that you know about about um, like, back. They they well, they, I mean, I knew Danny King. they double platinum. Was they was double that. platinum. No, they had two platinum albums. Two platinum albums, exactly. That's what he said. And Beyonce I, shut that down. I said, say yeah, what? They, Beyonce shut that down. She shut that down. What? Right. What you mean Beyonce shut that down? Why would she When she, she that? came over, she took over that whole lane, the era, this and child. Anybody Beyonce. who was in that lane, the A. Marie's, the Danny D. Kane's, Beyonce shut all that down. And I loved A. Marie too. A. Marie was dope to me. Right. Was, was, you was, know what's funny? I was like, yo, what is Rich Harrison doing now? Rich was my dude. He was Man. doing all them stuff. Rich yeah. was dope. Them go-go, yep. Rich was dope. That was her Man, y'all going career. to wild head right now. Who Rich was, Harris, he did A. Marie's whole first album. Yep. Oh, got he did, you. He yeah, did Crazy. Uh, yeah. Got me looking so crazy right now. Mm-hmm. He did so many songs, but he was dope. All them go go sounding songs that was coming out. Yeah. He he was doing them. He's from DC. Him got and Chucky. You. Yep. Chucky was doing a bunch of that mm-hmm. stuff too. God bless. I miss Chucky too. That's Man, my dog. So he's going deep. That's, Chucky is my dog. That's home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chucky Can I ask dog. this real quick? Uh, back to what we were talking about with the. Uh, this is for uh, anybody answer. Um, was it like. Eight nine hundred dollars a month, or they talking about yearly? They only getting eight hundred nine hundred dollars for the whole year. Once a year for their yeah. publishing, yeah, for wow. their own publishing. Yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. She yeah, it's better than nothing. But raping still. you records. That is it's nothing. not raping you records. <laughs> nah, see, that's what she wanted you to think. That's mm-hmm. why she posted that. Mm-hmm. But if you break it down, if because most people ain't gonna do that, that's why they do stuff like yeah. that. Look at the credits for all of their songs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you. There's 10, 12 writers on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you might have just been one in and that. And you mad. And none of, let's be real, they didn't okay. have no hits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What you expect? What you think you was going to get? Yeah. Now, if this, if this was one twelve saying that, I could respect it. Right. Not Danny King. Right. I got you. They wasn't I even around long enough did. for that. Yeah, that's real. Know? Okay. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense to me, too. Showstopper. That was it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Did you just make that up? I never heard that. <laughs> I, I oh, shit you wow. not. Wow. No, wow. I, no, 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 no. Wow. That was the name of the song. Wow. <laughs> no, is it? And no, yes. I don't know that shit either. I don't know, I don't know, know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know none of that shit. Yeah, I can't yeah. friend. <laughs> Yeah, no, like all they, the niggas they, they don't know what the fuck that is. Nigga, that was, two that niggas was, no show stopping. Yeah. Yeah, two, yeah, 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 yeah. But if it's 10, 12 writers 
and everybody getting eight, nine hundred. Thank Think you. about if it was two riders, y'all would yeah. probably walk away with a good like seven grand a there, month. That she's not no, I mean, I'm in a year, yeah. Yeah. Or seven yeah. grand a year, and then you good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. off of some just old. seven grand. Bye. Let me give you. <laughs> okay, put us on. And then he just mm-hmm. say that, it, yeah. Yep. That's what she said. Yep. How many points did you have in your deal? Yeah, part, your deal. Yeah. yeah. Don't lie to these people. How to much get money clicks. did you owe? Yeah, you're lying to these people she to get clicks. That's so you, over. You're right. Mm-hmm. Okay. That Fuck part. you, Michael Jackson, nigga. Michael you ain't getting fourteen. Like, yeah. A third of a cent yeah. of yeah. that. Yeah. And then your third of a cent is getting broken up by. Those other twelve. All yeah. the writers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come on, man. Somebody mm-hmm. sent me that video too. I, and if you, nigga, nah. You got to put on by MTV. Your name don't belong to you, so you don't get. You didn't have published. Mm-hmm. So whatever publisher, and then your reversion is coming back in twenty five years anyway. So then he didn't do nothing great. He had to get it. Back. Exactly. Because it was coming back to you. Well, no, it's thirty five. It's thirty five. But that's. Yeah. That's a whole mm-hmm. I'd have been. You know, you just keep that shit. Yo, I got a job. It's coming back to you. And also right. notice she's the only one talking shit yeah. out of the whole group. You mm-hmm. ain't never fucking. Nigga. She the only one talking oh, shit out of the whole group. Okay. It was like twelve Absolutely. of them. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I believed yeah. her because she was white. <laughs> there go. I believed her because she was fucking white. <laughs> Who told you to hate yourself? <laughs> 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 God, yeah. that, that bitch got me, man. Yeah. She, she got like, me, bro. Oh, no, Mr. Oh, Wallace. Man. You should be quiet. Man, man I'm sorry, Diddy. I'm, <laughs> I'm a bitch-ass nigga, man. Nah, <laughs> nah. I believe because she was white, bro. I was like, she was so convinced. She was still looking cute. Yeah. Uh, God damn. Yeah, I was but wondering why the mother girls had signed the shit already. That's not... That's not being honest about the situation. Yep. She did that shit for clicks. Oh, so that she didn't it. even sign that hers and didn't take it? Or she did no, no, no. take it? No, no, What I'm saying, she's no. complaining that that's what she got. Yeah. Well, I thought there's in the contract it said she that... can't talk bad about her. No, well, if she, she signed the bad. shit. She didn't okay. sign mm-hmm. the NDA. Oh, she oh. didn't sign it. No, she ain't signed it. Yeah, because yeah, okay. she's trying to put out a, a Netflix special or a right. Hulu See? special. So you and need one step away from you know she. Full and industrial. Give her two months. She wants, she getting there. <laughs> that part. Yeah, she, she oh, getting there. Shit. Uh-uh. So y'all ain't gonna sign this deal? I'll be back. All right, yeah. I was down in the A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shit, chilling. That's it. Yep. Or, 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 what's the or? Don't let somebody else with talent put you together and put you in a situation. Because, see, this is what I noticed. Mm-hmm. And, and y'all agree with me. Okay. What happens is when you broke, do and that. I know, and I know this because I've done it. Yeah. When you broke as hell and gotcha. you're homeless, uh-huh. and they say, "Yo, we are gonna give you hundred thousand dollars." Yeah. And your lawyer will tell you, "You are aware that this, this, this is that. All you see is hundred. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I deal yeah. with that later." Mm-hmm. What happens is people agree to that. They take the hundred thousand. They sign the deal, and later on complain about the shit that you knowingly signed. They never say that part. Exactly. That's why. I had a bad deal. Braxton's, my first deal, I never talked about it because PLCs. I signed that shit and I knew what I was signing. Absolutely. And in twenty, in the two thousands, I could see in the fifties and sixties, mm-hmm. but yo, I signed it with. Everybody had lawyers. You knew what you were signing. Yep. It's just at the time you was broke and you was willing to take the hit. But when it's time to take the hit, now is it? Oh nah. Mm-hmm. Megan and that's Stallion. what I honestly believe. Great. Nigga don't never want to own Great that example. part. Hell no. Why would I when I could blame this nigga? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I guess it's too, when you have all those people around you, this is part of one of the downsides of fame. Like, damn, man, and didn't you used to be? Nah, that bullshit come from have? deep. That come from inside of them alone, and it spread to the other people. That ain't other people. I'm telling you what happens. You broke as hell. Okay. Like, take, like, hey, man, me. That, oh, you ain't talking to me. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I'm saying. Okay. Like, I was homeless. <laughs> and they like, yo, here go 100000 Really? It to go in my pocket? Now the lawyer is like, now keep in mind, X, what, this, 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 and that. Well, my broke ass seeing that hundred thousand, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I deal you with that when I deal with it. The problem is when it comes Come time to deal home. with it, that's when people start complaining. 
and they forget that they were desperate. desperate. They desperate. And they start being like, yo, he robbed me. He couldn't have robbed you because you knew what you were signing. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because he wouldn't even be able to do this to you if you hadn't signed it. That's right. Willingly. Period. He didn't drug you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you signed it. And what happened is you got caught up in the life. It got good to you. And you forgot that That they told you that this Mm -hmm. was what that was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like my dad used to say, you're going to get what your hand calls for. Sooner or later, that bill going to come due. Mm -hmm. You're going to get what you what? You're going to get what your hand calls for. You get what your hand. That was his cute way of saying you read what you sell. I like that. Oh, okay. he ignorant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he ignorant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he ignorant. Mm-hmm. Hey man, what made you? Um, not what made you, but it was dope when you came in the game and you was singing, but you came mm-hmm. with the hip hop flavor. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a hat, the jersey. Right, right, right. Yeah. 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 So did you have to? Did you have to let them know like, no, this is what I'm doing? Did they try to change your flavor or anything like that? Nah, it fit perfect because that was me. Mm-hmm. And um. What happened was Russell and Leo was like, this is Leo. He was like, you know what I want? I want a R&B singer who after he sings a love song, you go in the crowd and fucking rob you. <laughs> I swear to God, he said this in a meeting. He was like, I want, imagine if fucking DMX was a fucking singer. Oh my God. And then so when oh I met God. Russell, he was like, I like this nigga. He a nigga. He's like, oh, and you can sing. Let's go. So it, it all kind of mm-hmm. fit in place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I ain't robbed nobody at the show, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Knowingly. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> came in with, with that. Yeah, that, your image that was dope as fuck. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely oh, yeah, didn't yeah. have the, the suit and tie, R&B. Yeah, type. yeah. Yeah, you yeah, were yeah. definitely that. And then that yeah. whole collaboration with Foxy and all of that, like, that was that was a time when music was like... It was exciting, but you, was but you so was part of, of you coming. was a part of that era where it started to shift. Like what Jack was saying, like mm-hmm. I get why he asked where you one of the first R and B singers to work with a rapper because your vibe wasn't that singy songy R and B lover boy. Like you came with a different like, type like, of like, edge. edge to it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that yeah. edge yeah. is what that's what did it for me. Yeah, because I yeah. was like, okay, okay, oh, he's not I, playing. I always like, I, I mean, I sing and I do, but I. I gotta be myself. You're yourself, yeah. exactly. That's Mount Vernon. Yeah, anybody who know me, eyes negra. <laughs> I'm not about to be. Yeah, like I, it's cool. I accept it, mm. but I, I can't be the. Hi, how are you? Mm. I, I don't. I just don't have that in me. Was it ever when you so like when they um the the look that you had mm-hmm. when you came out mm-hmm. this, that you was initially with that you didn't never want to say you didn't never say to yourself man man, man should I be wearing Versace like Snoop Dogg and, no 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 hold on and, um, I had a, um, Tupac I'm gonna send you the or? picture tomorrow I had Versace in my album cover um, the back cover mm-hmm. that yeah with the Versace mm-hmm. shirt yep. I had the Versace shirt I disrespected um, you I apologize it's all right that's you all right like yeah yeah you switch it up but you still be you. Mm. Let me tell you a funny story that people don't know. Okay. So, the video for Touch Me, Tease Me, I had on the Jerry Rice jersey, the red one. Mm. Well, I had hit my stylist, 5001 Flavors, Troy and Guy. Okay. I was like, yo, I got an idea. I want y'all to make me a leather army suit. He was like, yo, niggas never did that. So, I had a red leather army suit with, with, with the leg up. So, we, <laughs> that was going in the video. So, Brett Ratner, who directed uh, Rush Hour, Rush he Hour. directed yep. Touch Me, mm-hmm. Tease Me. Mm-hmm. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let me tell you what Brett did, though. So I put the suit on, and Brett was like, I don't know. I don't like it. Right? I'm like, well, I'm wearing this shit. Well, he snuck in the back and called Russell. He's like, Russell, he, he won't take the fucking suit off. Now, you know Russell. Yeah. This nigga Russell dropped what he was doing and came was like, no, no, you, you can't fucking wear that. You, you look at fucking Eddie Murphy. What are you, Eddie Murphy Raw? What the oh fuck is wrong with you? Oh, my God, I'm dead. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he's like, no, just keep that. And to me, I'm like, it's too... It, it was a rap label. Mm-hmm. I feel like it, it kept it too too rap. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Russell had a fit. He was like, no, I'm not doing I just spent, he said the number, down to the cent. I just spent XYV amount, and I'm not, I'm not going to do this shit. You look like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nigga. In the Touch Me, Tease Me video now, for the soundtrack. Now, That's in 2023, let me tell you the gangster shit that I, that I, I have now learned. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before you go on that. Did, was you cool after you seen his vision for it and everything? And did you say, you know what, Russell was right? Or you like, man, they should have let me wear my shit. <laughs> they should let me wear my shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. They should let me wear, right. wear my shit. But in 2023, let me tell you, what I would have done is been like, well, 
if I can't wear it, then uh, Mary says she can't be in the video. Mm. But that's this case. That case was like, fuck, okay, it's Russell Simmons. Yeah. I'd have, I'd have did the shit that they do to us. Mm-hmm. Right. I'd have been like, well, he was like, yo, I need Mary in the video. I need this red suit. Hmm. <laughs> That's what I should have Ma- said. Mary picked this out. Yeah. <laughs> Mary said she's not going to do it if I, don't, if I can't wear no, what she picked out No, really like, me. yo, she made this shit by hand, son. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. That part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what did you, what you, okay, so now you got a, a suit that you didn't saved. What you end up wearing that suit? Oh, so I wore you- it on stage? I, yeah. Oh, I wore that motherfucker. Yeah, hell yeah. I had a black one, a red one, I had a white one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had pictures somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, I'll find that suit. <laughs> Be some shit tomorrow night at the strip club. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how was it insulated, man? Was you sweating on the inside of that motherfucker? Or like, I... Nah. Nah, it was beautiful. You were cool. It was thin. It was, it was beautiful. Got you. I'm like DM Russell as soon as we done. <laughs> like, remember you had said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was he was like, I'm I'm not doing that. And I knew it was real, because if you know Russell, first of all, if you get on the phone with Russell, mm. you'd be like, hey, how you doing? He'd just be like, yeah, blah, 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 blah. And he'll say everything here. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> right? Am I lying? Like he'll say everything that he wanna say. Mm. And you'd be like, yeah, cause mm. so what I learned was don't be like, hey, what's up? Nah, nigga, get to the point. First of all, nigga, because yep. he'll be like, yeah, because hey, Look, listen, blah, blah, blah. Once he started talking But here's the funny with. part. He'll have the phone talking to you mm. and have another phone. He'd be like, hold on. He'd be like, yeah, case, blah, blah, blah. And this is how I feel and blah, blah, blah. And that's just how I feel. Okay, bye. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Like he ain't paying attention. I don't know how his brain Nothing. works like that. <laughs> that's the greatness of Russell Simmons, man. I wish I could find that red test. suit right now, nigga. Mm. I'll show up at his house. Mm. Mm. <laughs> In a yoga position with red pants on. 2023 case. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so d- today, 2023, mm-hmm. uh, uh, major or independent, man? What, what's where, where you at with that? What, what you like better? Independent. And why? Because when you're independent, it's a lot more work and you spend a lot more money, but ain't nobody hiding the money from you. Mm-hmm. What I learned in this game is the more money you make, the harder they work to keep it from you. Mm-hmm. Well, from us, because they don't do it to them. I did notice that also. Mm-hmm. Like Taylor Swift, she know where her money is. She know where yeah. her money's at. Yeah, all of them know. But yes. with us, the more money we make, the harder they try to keep us from getting to it. Mm-hmm. That's where all those different royalties yeah. and publishers mm-hmm. and all the backdoor MLCs and this and that. All and then how from. they got me, they was like, yeah, we're going to send you the spreadsheet. <laughs> Who told y'all I don't know how to fuck with spreadsheets? Right. Somebody told y'all. And you want to send me some shit that you probably made up? Oh, of course they let did. Let me let me get access to the portal so I can see my own analytics. No, they had the spreadsheet in there. Wowzers! Yeah. Have you ever heard or wow. seen where they uh, do the audit to the label? And I've heard about it. It's beautiful. <laughs> you ain't you never been that deep down that you had to uh, do. No, no, no. Like I got they getting audited right now oh. as we speak. Actually, mm-hmm. yeah. I got the I got an email about it yesterday. Yeah, hell yeah. Because what they do, and especially the label I was on. It was very notorious for them to be like, okay, this is the new artist. Okay, we're going to take the money from his budget. And put, mm-hmm. Remember that? Mm-hmm. And so I know it's a bunch of overcharging because that's what they do because they're counting on you not checking. And they rob right. Peter and to most pay of Paul us for don't. When you say check taking yeah. the, um, the, the money from his budget, you talking about marketing budgets and you talking about- uh, Any vi- money. A little, money. Here, little bit from here, a little bit from there, a little bit from here. Whoever yep. buddies open, mm-hmm. and they'll take a little bit from each mm-hmm. budget, and they charging it back to you, and you happy, you be like, I ain't never had this much money, never have that, mm-hmm. and half of that is yours, mm-hmm. and they, but they counting on you not, you know what I'm saying, checking up on Cause it. Because literally, they work for you, but they make it seem like you working for them. Boy, you'd never know they work for you, for sure. Mm-hmm. And wh- wh- why do we? You th- why do you feel like that? That the artists don't even don't even know that. And why is nobody educating the artists on that? Ba- I'm, I'm, when I say that, I'm talking about uh, back when you were uh, uh, first got your deal. Why? I speak for me. Artists do know about it because it mm-hmm. was in my deal that I could audit them twice a year. All that shit's in the contract. Yeah, it was in my mm-hmm. contract. And you were aware of that at that time. I was aware of it, but I'm gonna be honest with you. What happened was, I'm like, I got this good thing going. If I call in the audit, mm-hmm. that might fuck like, up some that's, that's, like, that's like you and your girl doing good, 
And you'd be like, bitch, I want you to take a lie detector. Mm -hmm. Well, let me go through your you phone. You done fucked up the relationship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that, let me go through that's, your phone. that's how I was thinking. Why I'm like, you want to go through my phone, bro? Yeah. Like, stop. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Chill. Right. Exactly. Same shit. Yeah. So, no phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about yeah. that later. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> but it's the same thing. So I'm like, well, I don't want to rock the boat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now when you get older, you realize that the boat need to get rocked. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But at that time, you're like, well, if I piss them off, then they might, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be Delete like, some my other office shit. hours. Off yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're going to be like, yeah, Rick James acting up. Put and, all the money on Lionel Richie. And you know that was a real situation, right? <laughs> yeah. That office, office hours was up from, you know who that was? Jackie Wilson. That's what happened to him. I'm sure. That was crazy to me. Nuts. It was a different time. It was definitely a way comp. different. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. not gonna win against a nigga. My with a comp. office hours. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Mm, mm, mm. She now you gotta uh one of my favorite songs in the world, man, Happily Ever After. Yeah. Now, do you believe in Happily Ever After in 2023 uh, as far as um uh, uh marriage goes? And you for just somebody. To, for somebody. I mean everything worked for somebody. For somebody. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Does it work for you? No, nah, I'm cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm cool. Do you believe that marriage is like it's really not a great deal for a guy? Why you under certain for a guy? circumstances? Don't do what you're about to do. I, I just want to know. <laughs> no. Why just if, for a guy? It might not be good for us. Do the neither. research. It, it's kind of a bad deal. I beg to differ. Put us on. Do tell. I mean, I'm just saying, like, well, why just is like, it just bad for a guy? Why, no, no, no. Why would it be good for a guy? Why would it be good for a guy? No, no. I want to hear why you beg the difference. Yes. Because marriage is beautiful for everybody if you mm -hmm. choose to make it beautiful. Or if you, you marry the saying? right person. If you marry the right person. But at the, the end right of the person. day, if you okay. if you have the wrong union, it's going to be wrong for everybody involved. So, so why is it just you for have, a guy? You, my, you know what? I'm not doing this with you. You could have saved me. I'm just saying. Nah, I'm no. trying. It's still it's still a bad deal, even if it's the right person. Even if, why? Mm -hmm. On the business side of it. On the why? Prenup. Because it's... <laughs> Let's say you the ain't got you shit at. to even have a prenup for. Just general marriage vows. Why is it bad cool, for the man? Cool, great. You have to have you don't need the state. To, you don't need the government to get involved in that. So you just you say love you, me. You, I love you. you We're gonna be together. We ain't going it. nowhere. We don't need no paperwork for that. We don't need no paperwork for that. Why? What's paperwork? That's a government contract. All right. It's like child support. Y'all putting a case on me. <laughs> <laughs> Because you, you entered into that union willingly. A few times, but that's neither here nor there. So where are we at right now in 2023? neither here nor there. Then why the don't you believe? It? We're not pleading the fifth on this one case. Well, why don't I believe in? No, I, I believe in it. For you. Hell no. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was the question. <laughs> Why well, is that in the beginning? I was just elaborating. So, oh, so what, if, what if you would have... Stayed in contact with that 17 year old girl that was in your video, and now she's 27 years old. 10 years later, after that, she wanted to get married to you. You wouldn't have done that? I'd have been a pervert because when she was in the video, she was 17, and I was. That was it, 10 years later. When she, if you would have stayed in contact. With that's her. shit my daughter said. My daughter she would have like, hey, She's 27 well, yeah, she's now. Mom was in elementary school. That's girls. That, nah, I would. At 27, knowing where she at at today's date. I wouldn't have cared. You wouldn't have cared. I, I wouldn't have been with her like based that. off of that. Because hmm. that's how Stedman ended up in the guest, mm -hmm. in the guest house. He's still out there. In the, so I was going to say, he's still there. Yeah. Shit, that's First his of address. All, nigga, you're, you're, that's probably not even his real name. She named him. Uh, man. Yeah, you, <laughs> what? You, are you the same fool with this nigga? It's a bunch of vague shit. Yo, I bet you that nigga name is like I don't believe you're a real person. Yeah. She yeah. named him Stedman. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's her steady man. Yeah. <laughs> that's her steady but man. Think about shit. <laughs> but wait, let me tell you the funny That's like we was in Mexico, right? Okay. And so it's me, this is good Cedric, already. the entertainer. Uh -huh. It's a bunch of us. Yeah. So everybody's like, yo, yo, Julio. So, you know, the Mexican dude, he's like, yeah, yeah, he's taking the orders. So, you know, I'm friendly. Mm. So I get a little drunk. I'm like, what up, yo? I'm like, what's your name, brother? I promise you, his name was like, what's the most American? Like Thomas. <laughs> yeah, it's Thomas. Why the fuck you keep answering the Julio? Right. He's like, nah. Yeah. But am I lying? <laughs> I got the mic. I was like, listen. This man name ain't no motherfucker Julio. <laughs> Call him that again. It's gonna be me and you. <laughs> so racist. But then he got him back. Mm. Dude was like, "Yo, bring me a double cheeseburger." He's like, "Okay, okay, my friend." He came back with a burger, 
with two pieces of cheese. And they got mad. He's like, you'll say double G. Yo, you know, sweet. And at that point, yeah, he got back at them for that Julio shit. Oh, that's he's like, yo, Julio. I'm like, why you keep answering today? He's like, I Cause I know they're talking to me. Yeah, my nigga George. <laughs> right. Yeah, he had the most American name ever. Tomas. Yeah, the granddaddy name was Tomas. Holy well, how would he feel? <laughs> Holy cow! So if your kids wanted to walk in your your shoes and whatnot, one of them does. One of them does. The youngest. Got you. And how do you feel about that? Is you cool with it? With what you know about the music business? Or you, hey, I'm behind you all the way. Full steam ahead. Whatever Let's she go. wanted to do. Whatever she wanted to do. And I could just teach her the stuff that I've learned. Absolutely. And that's an advantage for her. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So because she could she could aspire to do a whole bunch of other stuff. And that that's not cool. So, you know, she's the only one of my kids that got the bug for music. Mm -hmm. mm. So yeah. Yeah, my kids could sing, they just don't like it. My sisters could sing. Which I didn't know till two thousand and Five. How do you know Why? that? How did that because happen? they have never sung around me. Wow. And they don't like singing. And I think it was my mom's I was going to say, is, is that maybe something that was cultivated in the house? Like nobody's going to be a singer. No, 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 no. Like, no, remember, 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 no, the song, the, remember the movie This Christmas with Chris Brown and how he wanted to be a singer and right. she was mad because mm -mm, she didn't want him to follow the same on. footsteps? No, no, no. Uh, me and my dad, that's how I got into music initially. It was my grandmother and my dad. Mm -hmm. Um we would sit, we had the microphone that you plug in, and he would, we would just sing all the time. There was always music. They just never, mm -hmm. like people, some people just don't love it. Yeah. Some people can't live that's without it. That's not what it. they want to do. Yeah, they yeah. was like, yeah, I don't want to mm -hmm. do this shit. I could do it. But that's well, not that's me. real pretentious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I never knew they could sing till like 2004. <laughs> wow. When you was just speaking about you guys singing with the microphone and in the house as kids, it made me think about uh, me hearing you saying before that uh, Michael Jackson was a big inspiration on you. Oh, yeah. Um, do you uh, think that he was so big that you could um, possibly, I mean, would you uh, want to work with him before? I'd be scared. Or you would think you'd be too scared? You, that's what I'm saying. You think he'd be so big that you well, would work with him or you I think that's for a fact something you wouldn't want to do? I know, I know for a fact I would be scared. And I'll tell you why. Dig, if you will, the picture. Okay. You and I, no. The year no. is 1992. He's working on a Dangerous album. That's right. So I'm in L.A. Um, I'll be sure. Teddy Riley's like, yo, come up to come up to the suite, whatever the room number was. I go in, it's fucking Michael Jackson is there. So I'm like, now Michael Jackson was my imaginary friend. Nigga, it was God and Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. So shook his hand and he's talking to me, and my shit went blank. <laughs> no, dog. <laughs> dog. No, I can see, but I'm just he and I'm like, <laughs> is this really happening? Nah, I wasn't thinking none of that. You was... You ever... Yeah. Nigga, mine went blank. Yeah. To the point where, finally, so he's talking, I'm standing there, I was like, yeah, you need to get the fuck out from around these people. So I go stand in the corner, and I'm still standing there, I'm like, and I'm like, you know, the worst feeling you could feel, and I, I could tell you this now, is trying to think of something to think. Oh, bro. <laughs> Nigga, that's the most helpless yeah. feeling ever. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, yo... So finally, I'm like, fuck, I snuck out the room. Soon as I got in the elevator, everything I ever wanted just flooded in my head. I was like, God damn. I know he was like, come on, that guy's a bitch. I know he <laughs> yeah. was. Could you hear that what shit he was, was so saying? embarrassing. Could you hear what he was saying? Did your mind go blank where you couldn't hear or comprehend? I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what the fuck. You don't know what the fuck he <laughs> said. All I saw was a light. I asked yeah. you that because oh I've seen God. a lot of uh, different other uh, people speak on like Michael reaching out to work with them, and it was like, he's so and he big. He cold calls you. And yeah. he's so big that I don't even know what to do with him. So I kind of like turned it. I seen Dr. Dre say he turned Mike down. Yeah, think about it. I seen uh, a couple artists said that before. And it was like, I, I just myself. know my inspiration is like, man, if I had the, the chance to work with Mike or let's just say choreograph or dance or do anything with him. And I would. I, would I like the fact, that, your dance, no, no. I know, I like the fact that you think that until you walk until in you that really goddamn dance. room and he'd be like, shit, I meet Michael Jackson. Man, I grew the same way. How you saying, man? And we're totally different eras, uh, uh, well, generations. Man, I used to grow up watching Michael Jackson Thriller every day in my, mm -hmm. in my and copy. I still know the dance step step by step. And then to see him do something like how we were saying the create the recreated. I mean, to do my dance steps right, right. to the crank that Soldier Boy dance. 
it was just like mind blowing for me. I was like, man, I would love to. Now imagine pers- you wa- personally collaborate or do something like it that. It sound good, but he walked up do. and like, I ain't yeah. never met him. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. it's a different game. The yeah. other one was Stevie Wonder. Oh, we was at Wanye's birthday party mm. in 1999 at the Metronome in New York, right? Wow. So they was like, yo. You famous. Um, you famous, man. No, Stevie Wonder. You Wonder's real famous. famous. Stevie Wonder famous. <laughs> so they was like, yo, <laughs> you need to go talk to Stevie Wonder. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's go. Hold up. Let me take a shot. So I take a shot, smoke a cigarette. I do that like eight times. <laughs> and finally, I go, I sit down, and you know, his, his I forgot what he's called, but the dude that, Tells him what's going on. Mm-hmm. He's like, "Yeah, that's Case." But I'm like, "Oh, Case, we heard your song in the, um, in the car on the way over here." He starts singing my song. That's where he fucked it up. Wow! Mm-hmm. Because we sitting there and we shaking hands and we talking. He sang my song. I'm like, "Dad, he just fucked up my whole night." So, you ever get to a point where the conversation is over? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, "Yo, let his hand go." <laughs> no, we still. And I'm like, "Yo," and my hand was like, "Nah." I'm like, yo, let his hand go. I could not let his hand go. Because now then my thoughts came. I'm like, I'm thinking of all the albums, all the. But at the same time, I'm like, let his fucking hand go. <laughs> Nigga, hand like, no. <laughs> so finally I let it go. Dog, I went home. I took all my Stevie Wonder albums, had a, and I had the thing that plays the music through the whole house. You did sound surround sound? No immerse sound. Immerse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so wait. So now I'm blowing my mom's phone up. My life together. I'm blowing my mom's phone up. She's not answering. It's like 3.30 in the morning. The next morning she calls me and curses me out. I'm like, what'd I do? She was like, don't ever. She thought something happened. Right. I'm like, no, I met Stevie Wonder. She's like, nigga. I'm like, my bad. But yeah, I met Stevie Wonder. I'm like, I made a bitch out of myself, but I love you. <laughs> Cause I'm, yo, now you don't know what it feels like to be like, let this man's hand go. Like you're talking to yourself. And I'm like, this nigga's, he's the dude, that's the same hand. <laughs> think about that. Think, of, think about the album covers that you saw, but he's sitting there like that. You're like, that's that. It's nigga, the same hand. I'm not letting his hand go. And I'm like, sir, I don't mean this like that, but I'm trying. Yo, I could not let his hand go. And he, he should have sang my song. What song was it? Yeah, what song he sang? Um, Touch Me, Tease Me. He's like, oh, we heard it on the way over here. It might have been happening. Did, did he riff with that shit? Tell me. Touch me. Tease <laughs> me. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Damn. Dog. Do I do? Come on. Man. Do that, I do? Come on now. Yeah. That shit happened to you. I'm like, yo, let his hand go. Damn. I'm like, damn, I'm glad none of my kids is here. It's amazing that who you are in the in the industry that you still are a fan in that regard. Mm-hmm. How could you not? How do yeah, you? I know. I mean, like, but from the, the top, a lot of people won't won't even tell you that part of themselves. Yeah, they lying. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, I let, well, some people get changed. See, what I what I was always taught is that when you broke, you you. When you get rich. You become more what you really are. Yes, mm-hmm. that's why people are like, oh, he's an asshole since he, he got rich. Been. Nah, he no, always, always been an asshole. asshole. He I'm feels just empowered. More yeah. of an asshole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I always was a fan. So that shit don't change. I'm like a little kid. Like I was just telling him a story outside when I did a duet with um, Charlie Wilson. I'm sitting on the floor in the booth with him while he's recording his vocals, and I'm like, yeah, good. There was no iPhone, which I wish there were, but I'm sitting there like. In the vocal booth with Charlie Wilson while he's doing vocal and in between takes, he's turning around like, Did I sing it right? Nigga. The song that you wrote. I'm, yeah, I'm like, mm-hmm. you can sing this in Spanish backwards. <laughs> 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 I'm like, you be a nice, ain't you? How should you sing it? You ain't gotta sing it. <laughs> Take a picture with me. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your name is mm-hmm. on the credit You weren't coaching card. that nigga at all. That nigga was... Hell no. <laughs> Ooh, That's he, Uncle Charlie. He. Yeah. God <laughs> damn. What I'm a coach. Can you do it again, Charlie? Like, just kind of like, chill. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <Nah. laughs> wow. I noticed that um the other day that, and I know I'm kind of young, so don't laugh at me, but that's Uncle Charlie on the back of the Zap record. Yeah, yes. I did not know that. Yep. Yeah, and then I heard his voice, and I was like, "Oh, because they, yeah. they don't never really credit him. It just says 
Hey, Roger and well, Zap or Zap. A, well, I, he, he told me the best story about yeah. this song. I ain't going to tell it. I'm going to let him tell you. But he told me the best story about that. And every time he called me uh, before he hang up, he'd be like, I love you, baby. Keep gapping. Mm. But you also started off doing background as well. Yeah. You better go. In the studio. I, well, I was singing references. Get them ribs. References? Get them ribs. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> ain't no ribs, man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I I sang backgrounds on um, and I did references. Okay. For like Albie Shaw for songs he was writing and working on. So. That's what so was it like working with Albie? Man, it was school. He he's the first person that taught me about song structure and mm. writing songs. He's the first person to put me in the studio. So we sitting in the studio and he's writing a song on um, uh, the album was Sexy Verses. He had a song called You and I. So he's sitting there writing it. The music is playing. <clears throat> so he hands me the thing. He's like, yo, here. I'm like, what's up? He's like, go in there. Go sing it. What you want me to sing? He's like, whatever, whatever. comes out. <laughs> yeah. Now, mind you, I ain't never. I'm like, and we had the hit factory. Oh, gosh. On yes. <laughs> so I went in there, and I, I was scared of shit. And I, and I did. That's the first time I ever was in the studio. So Al, Al was like a teacher. He he has always, as a producer, bought something out of vocalists. He's good at that. Like, mm. he's perfected that. Mm. Like, Al will get up, you be singing, Al will stand up on the board and be like that. And so if you're in there singing and you see that, be like, oh, nigga, I'm killing this shit. Yeah. You might not be. Mm -hmm. But he's going to get the best that you got out Give of Give you that energy yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. And later on, you'd be like, oh, wow, I can't believe I did that. Mm -hmm. He'd be like, nah, it's cool. We're going to die together. Yep. <laughs> that's so Al, Yeah, that's Al. Yeah, that's Al. <laughs> nah, it's cool. We're going to die together. Yeah, what's, what's good, money? You good? You good? Yeah. He's one of those guys for sure. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, best Man soundtrack. Mm -hmm. um, the Best Man I Can Be. Yep. What is that like being with these other powerhouses? Mm. And you know, how does that even come together? Whole that was the labels that did that. The but labels. Did you I actually didn't... record that together yes. or you didn't? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let me tell you, I had a platinum party in New York that they was planning for months. See? He said, he's still mad. <laughs> now, mind you, this was in the year 2000. Notice how quick he, he still feels. Exactly. Away. No, no. <laughs> No, they was like, they was playing this party for the longest. And um, people was calling me like, yo, this is the craziest party ever. I'm like, I I'm in Minneapolis. I didn't care about the rest of them because I knew them. There's what I cared about is that we was in the studio with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Mm, That's what right. I cared about. That's who produced that? Because wow. Genuine and Tyrese, I knew them. Yeah. That, that ain't shit, we do this. Mm. They them. Mm. So that that was the most exciting part for me. And I'm like, man, don't mess up. Not today. And it, what's crazy is I got to the airport, which was so random. I, I got in the car, got to the airport, and the driver pulled up to the thing. I was like, open the door, open the door. And I just started throwing up. And then went and got on the plane. I have no idea. <laughs> huh. Oh, why you laughing again? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> well, you, you probably were singing so loud. So no, no, no. Like, this is on my way to the airport to fly oh, to Minneapolis. okay, to fly to go meet What me. I think is that, because I, I, I tricked myself into, I think I was scared. That's but Jimmy, I had tricked Jimmy myself into thinking Lewis, I wasn't though. scared. Because like, it's Jimmy yeah. Jam and Terry Lewis. And my body was like, you ain't tricking me. You, you had Throw never, up, nigga. Throw up right now. I, yeah. You had never met them before. Hell no. Got you. And they them. Yeah. Them. You know how much... Let me tell you, I didn't realize how much stuff they did too. Yeah. You see yeah. this hallway? Mm. Imagine that from the ceiling to the floor with plaques. Plaques, mm. yeah. And I'm going through them and I'm looking at songs. I bet you I can name at least three songs you ain't know that they produced. Tender Love, Four MDs. I knew that. I knew that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you didn't know they did. I'm only human. I didn't know that. You didn't know they did. Y'all, D, good love, deserves an encore. They did that. I, I, they did I didn't that. know that. Yeah. Yeah. Dog, I'm going. I'm like, yo, they did all. Dog, they did everything. They are the goats. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know what's yes. the best part about them? They the realest dudes ever. Did you know that to this day, they've never had a contract? They had a handshake deal, 50-50. Oh, wow. And they've been doing shit for 50 years. Just I mean, like not, that. not doing shit. 
They did Janet Jackson. Just like that. Jackson. Yes. Yeah. They've never had a contract. They got a handshake deal. Wow. That's gangster. Even with like Babyface and all those crazy names. like That's gangster. Wow. A handshake deal? Think about the type Man, of is, money. I'm going to really take my that, 50. Though? You're going to take your 50. And we're gonna is, is we really, that's what they told us. Well, if that's any, everybody could tell us that. Yes. Anybody could tell I us that. I believe them because I sat and talked. They sat down and they was like, hey, uh, sit down, young blood. That's when you know you're about to get some game. But when yeah. you oh, got you it, though. Yeah. 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 Hey, let me talk to you. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm fucking What up. you didn't need. <laughs> what I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I do. But yeah, 50 50, handshake deal. So you, Niggas you know, can't go you know half for a six piece. No, at so, all. Okay. Yeah. Even, even if they brothers. Man. Yeah. And they never made control. Mm hmm. 100%. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hey, oh. Um, so let, let's go back to something real quick about, about your daddy mm -hmm. and uh, 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 being in Cameo before it was yeah, yeah, Cameo. Yeah. They was called East Coast. East Coast. Mm -hmm. And like, how does how does that dissolve where he stopped doing that and become your daddy? What was the reason? Well, because my mama got pregnant and it was like, now think about it. They gotcha. East Coast, they're not making no money. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So like, you gonna keep running around with these niggas or you mm -hmm. gonna get a job and take care of this kid? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Did he ever tell you old East Coast stories? Yeah, I wasn't listening. You, were <laughs> I didn't care at that point. Because think about it. Back then, I'm like, if it ain't about Michael Jackson, I don't want to hear this. Or the Got Jackson you. 5. That's when Michael Jackson was doing the robot. I'm like, nigga, I don't want to hear this shit. <laughs> I don't even know these niggas. Like, Larry Blackman is your, grand, is your <laughs> godfather. You don't need no godfather. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Marlon Brando is the godfather. Yes, yeah. 100%. 100%. Yes. Yeah. I got a chance to hang out with like Larry Blackman about like five days in a row. I had a pimp friend. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Five days in a row? Yes, because he had hoes. This nigga, Larry Black, Blackman hung around pimps. And I had a homeboy that- uh, I, And uh, your answer to that is he had hoes or y'all had hoes? We, I was, ah. that was his hoes. Uh -huh. And he said I could come through and be with him and his hoes. Yeah. Um, were they honest hoes? They were very, very honest hoes, and they did. That's how I used to be. I was an honest hoe, and, and all my hoes was honest. <laughs> one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, I respect that. One of the coolest niggas I've ever met in my life, Larry Blackman. Man, yeah. shout out to Larry Blackman. Man, we gotta Bart get you on the show, bro. Shout out Beryl, his daughter. That's, that's my god sister. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. anyway, man, how did, that's just something that um I I, I want to ask you about because I, I wouldn't even this ain't even went on even on like my list of questions at all. But I have a uh, 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 issue. With that whole Godfather situation, like what what does that even mean if you still got living relatives? And do you have Godchildren? I got Godchildren. Yeah. So you mean to tell me if I let let's say your manager, mm -hmm. let's say you know I'm for if he ain't here no more mm -hmm. and whatnot, he wants you to his take kids, his, my kids. Okay, but he got brothers and sisters already. It don't matter if they didn't agree to that. It's good. If I agree to that, I don't give a fuck what he got. You want case to keep your kids? Okay, that'll do it. That's a whole nother thing. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all wasn't going to do that. <laughs> Notice I answered Boy, as, you though, a fool. as though your nuts were. You a it's fool, cool. my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just like this on no, Instagram, No, no, but too. no, no. He like, just like this on Instagram, it, you're a fool. Guy, I try to be the good guy, and then you fuck it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got to tell me what we're doing from day to day, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I, t I take his kids. You they, take his kids. I, they be hard headed as hell though. Yeah, they probably yeah. break my mama light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. they got them jeans. One hundred percent. You yeah. you cool at this point? You don't want kids, right? At some point, my kids will be my wife. Nigga, it's too yeah. A dream deferred. It's cool. <laughs> it's, cool. It, it's cool. I got enough. We good. One hundred percent. How many kids you got, kids? Uh, nah, three. I'm kidding. Well, no, four. You want any more? Yeah, I got a vasectomy 10 years ago. The club lost his liquor license. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nigga. I got to yeah. ask you about that. Because I'm oh, like this yeah, close. Yeah, yeah, talk I be, We be having personal conversations about this all the time. I'm like this close to getting it. Nigga, I'm about to and put I'm you kinda... on the edge. Come on. <laughs> come on, go on. Uh, so you said it had about 10 years? No, exactly 10 years. July so you haven't had any like uh, any health concerns or nothing like that? He think Hell his dick no. ain't going to work no more. No, no. I, nah. I see online, they be saying people nuts be swelling well, up so like young. golf balls. Why do you want to do that now? I already got three kids. My oldest is in high school. Wait, oh, uh, about to graduate this year. A 17 year old. Oh, yeah, it's time to I don't stop. want no more kids. Well, damn. You okay. owe it to hmm. yourself to bust your gun with reckless disregard. That's yeah. how I feel. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. You got no regrets. No Hell regret. no. 
nigga, I'm so gangster. When he was doing it, we were sitting there joking back and forth. And I'm sitting there like, yo, why is my nut smoking? <laughs> and he was like, I'm burning the ends. I swear to God. Damn. He was the coolest. Hold on, you was awake while so you got he the was. OG one. Yeah, they just numb you. Yeah. You, you don't go to sleep for that. You got the one when they actually clip you and burn you. That nigga burnt my shit. Sold them on the eBay. new one they got, they just Sold punch it. a hole in your nuts. I think I thought you were bullshit, no, we're bro. We're not doing that. You're not doing that one. Punch a hole in Yeah, they got like a mach- little machine that they don't got to cut you open and they just like it pokes your nuts in the right spot where they supposed to tie it or burn it. And the little mach- the, the, um, the, the pin goes in, pokes your nuts, I and it burns it, and then it comes out. No, nah, I don't trust that. You don't trust <laughs> that. Said, nah, we they said that. that one's more safer. Damn that! I want my shit handcrafted. <laughs> Damn that shit! Nah, I want to see. Yeah, want to see. nah. And it hasn't left you. It hasn't let you down or failed you Me? not once. Yeah. Nah, right. man. Listen. <laughs> Wait till this is only fit. Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so let me ask you this question: Did you go test it out immediately to see if it worked? Interesting fun fact. You can't. You can't. Can. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, you gotta wait, wait six I weeks. Forgot. Yeah, six weeks. You gotta get all the nuts sure, that's built up. You know I mean, cause listen, I, listen, I, let her know. do what she wants. She done tried to trap some. Right. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> what, they, what they tell you is that you gotta, how do he say it? You gotta clean out the pipeline. Yeah. So you got mm-hmm. nut built up. Funny shit, he said this dude, this dude was like, um, hey doc, I'll give you two hundred dollars. If you tell my wife that she gotta suck me off for the next six weeks. Oh my god. I swear to God, he was like, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Yo, he, yeah, because they say you got to get it yeah. out. And so he was like, Yeah, just tell her so she won't get pregnant. She got to suck it. <laughs> Bro, you should, why you, why you ain't look out for your dog like that? Not me. No, that's if he was he smart. He'd have gave his wife the $200 and she'd have did it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> like, baby, I just, you know what I'm saying? This, uh, Don't give it to the doctor, the lot uh, Give it to her. Okay, last quick question. No pain, right? Oh, it was some pain. Oh, it was some pain? Oh, shit, yeah. After the day after pain or like no, nigga, during the process pain? No, it was, it was pain for maybe like two, two and a, maybe three days. Afterwards. But it's not pain like you think. Yeah. Okay. Well, what kind it's of like, pain? It's like they a give dull you pain. Pricks. A dull pain. Like it's not, it's not getting kicked in the nuts pain where you're like, oh my God. It's like, you'd be like, dang, did somebody hit me in the nuts today at the game? It's that. Yeah. It's not like terrible. And they'd be like, get frozen peas and put them on your nuts. I'm like, Doc, we don't need to have this conversation. I'll take care of my own nuts. He's gotcha. like, I just burned them. They are nuts. I'm like, okay, cool. Got you. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's pain. It's definitely, but it's not what you think. Yeah. And I had a bunch of homeboys they're like, I want to I wanna get a vasectomy, but I'm scared. What you more scared of? A vasectomy or child support? <laughs> Child support, you, you gotta make a choice. Support. Mm-hmm. Especially with somebody you ain't trying to uh, pay that money to. That's yeah. the worst. No, they married. So oh, what are you more scared of? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody scared of something. Have you ever had a woman try to tell you she was pregnant after you got your vasectomy? Yeah, that's a good one. No, I mean, I yeah. wish that I could, but I was in a relationship, so no. But you can get it reversed. Shit, me, my wife used to try to get. I'm like, not reversing shit. When I went oh, to the when I went to the reverse. clinic, no, they, I asked them that he told me don't get it. Oh, if that's it your takes, question. It took like thirty minutes to get done. Yeah. Nigga, take four hours to nah. Mm-mm. You Humpty didn't, Dumpty. You, they gotta open the floodgates back up. You know. The doctor told me he said if, if since you asked me that question, I don't want to perform this procedure on you because you da, you still got doubts. You should have mm-hmm. learned. They do that and at you, the abortion clinic. You should have learned that. You should tell them what they want to hear. Yeah, mm. you have know. any doubts? No. They yeah. do that with ladies when they tie their tubes too. Like you sure you don't want to have no other kids. Yeah. Like they make you like damn near tell them no. Fuck this. I don't want no more before they be. Like, I know now. So this time around, man, I'm getting the the snip. It, it, snip. it don't hurt like that. It's honestly, I was expecting worse. I was like, oh, it's gonna get worse. It never got worse. But I'm like that. Like I got my wisdom teeth pulled uh, week before last, and I'm yeah. like, oh, it's gonna hurt so bad. That shit wasn't that bad. Nah, it's really not that bad. It really was because it wasn't impacted. Mm-mm. Same thing with your nuts. If they're not impacted, you good. Impacted? What's impacted? <laughs> well, I don't know how it applies to nuts, but it sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> but teeth, yeah, with teeth. the teeth, is like they yeah growing Sideways. and they inside the gums. That's how two of my wisdom teeth. Yeah, are. and they got to cut them. Mm-hmm. Then had mine was straight out. He was like, "We just gonna pull those and send you home." Mm-hmm. Which pissed me off because I'm like, okay, they're not gonna give me the good painkillers. 
And what? So what did he do? Did he like stick a needle in your mouth and yeah, numb? No, did, in did you, each side. In each side. You got both of them on each side gone. Mm -hmm. Wow. But, but they did bullshit. I was knocked out when they did the needle in my mouth. Oh, you was. Only reason I know is that the next day, that's what was hurting. It wasn't the teeth. It was the where they stuck they you at. The holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. She like chipmunk. I'm like, why is my cheek so fat? Pause. <laughs> no, right so after I said that, that, that wasn't it. Talk about nuts and gee, yeah, Jesus so Christ! Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I gotta go get. Uh, I was just gonna go get one of mine. I need both of them. You say? And a vasectomy. Get it at the same dentist office. Get the vasectomy too? Hell yeah! They do <laughs> hair. They do nails. Vasectomies. You know? Um, do, do they got so some? Do they got some teeth? Hey, so for thirty minutes. So you telling me for thirty minutes, this buddy gonna be. <laughs> like you gotta ask him how long was how long was I back there? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I was no, there. no, you wasn't there. I'm like you a real manager, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. That nigga is That's a real friend. His ass real. Off. Jack, you gonna come with me? Yeah, I was out yeah, the loop. I'll come with you, bro. Okay. Yeah, one hundred percent. I need be the support. last damn time. Yeah, we cousins. <laughs> we ain't get that ain't gay. But no, no, no. It. I think it was like thirty minutes. But what's going? Was, you on, was you on? A, like a big? Yeah, like I'm chilling. And this nigga here. Uh -huh. he, I'm like, damn, you went to school to look at niggas nuts at that angle, nigga. It was cool. Yeah. But the only thing that threw me off is because like, yeah. he didn't tell me. So I'm like, we He didn't touch it. the shaft though, right? And he just went, they so it held your nuts and just did. They gotta move it out the way. Can oh. you hold your own shaft out the way? Why would you say this? <laughs> no. <laughs> is this thing I'm, on? <laughs> I'm asking for him. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you. Yeah. <laughs> At the point when somebody about to slit your nutsack open and all that, you gonna have the smallest dick ever. You know how your dick be like, yeah. wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't no shaft. It, it wasn't no, it was it, a wee-wee at that point, dog. It, it, That's it, real. It, it, you were, yeah. It was all much yeah. yeah. Imagine you getting can. pulled over in Clinton County. And four cars come. Oh my God, no. <laughs> That's what you're going to have. <laughs> on Tar Boulevard. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you ain't afraid, I'm afraid. Yeah. yeah. We're not here Why are you acting so nervous? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got you. Yeah. Got you. So you straight mushroom and got you. I don't Get, even know. All I saw, all, all, what I really remember. And it was remember, smoke coming off your shit. That's what I remember. I'm like, hey. Because at this point, we friends. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what he say. We friends. So I'm like, uh, why am I dick smoking? Yeah. He was like, oh no, I'm burning the ends. Oh, the ends of what? Of your the tube. What's it called? The, the vast testicles, deference. yeah. Nigga, you went to science. The tube that make the nut the come grade. from the I dropped out of the knife, man. Okay, well, you know, put the lime in it's the like you, you saying it like you got them hot wire in a car or some shit. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what they do when they tie oh, tubes, they really they burn them off. Oh wow. Wow. Which is, let me tell you the dumbest part about that, because I know some people. <laughs> They went and got their tubes tied and still get their period every month. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah, that definitely doesn't stop and that. Like, oh, I wish I wouldn't. Have... You got your tubes tied? N absolutely not. Oh, okay. Why not? I want another one. One day, maybe. Right situation. Hey. <laughs> oh, we're going to be revisiting this soon. I can see it. <laughs> I got one more in me. One more. That's not the problem. Somebody else need to have one more in them. Oh. And then you have one more in well, you. Oh, yeah, that part. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a revelation. Yeah, it yeah. is. To go back and get it reversed. <laughs> nah. I wish I might. You Man. might. Nah. No? Oh. Get a vasectomy reversed? Nah, I'm cool. You good on that? I'm so good. Oh. Man, could you imagine? She and I left it. It's four hours to get it reversed. <laughs> you, you four said hours. That. <laughs> yeah. You said so that. they got the And then, hold on. If you got it the first time, you're going to want it again. So that's another 30 minutes and smoke coming off your nuts. That I'm is good. definitely yeah. facts. Yeah. And you the made reverse ain't guaranteed. Look. It's not 100% guaranteed to reverse. Yeah, because my homeboy. You've been studying. Yeah. He's serious. <laughs> yeah. He's invested. It's simple, I'm telling you. And well, where I went, he was like, hey, because my doctor was ignorant. He was like, you can come nut in a jar every week and we'll test it for the rest of your life. Make sure you don't, you know, it's not... Because, you know, some people shit reverse automatically. Mm. Mm. He was like, you can come every week and nut in the jaw. Yeah, don't say it like that. Mm. He was like, but we'll test you for the rest of your life. You're good. Mm. So. Jeez. But that reversing, that's, that's some woman shit. Yeah. Damn. Y'all don't love us. Y'all don't love us. 
You, ain't nobody tell you to go do Y'all don't love us? I mean, let it be known well, let then. it be known then. We know where we you at. You know Come what? On, it's all good. You got it. You I'm got it. I'm not of a second. <laughs> God damn. That's um, dead. All right. Damn. Next. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, uh, vasectomy. This nigga nuts. Abortion. <laughs> a sec How much of a vasectomy is? Wait, time out. What happened? That's two different they, they situations. Miles was like, uh, going to be like 800. Yeah, ab abortion is like 500, right? Like 550. It depends on how far along she is. Like well, yeah, it depends. I, I paid 300 on one time. I paid a thousand one time. She I was, pushed the girl downstairs she, one time. She, but baby I was, was no, almost she here. Fell. Yeah, she, yeah, she is crazy. Clumsy motherfucker. Yeah. But yeah, man, is there anything you want to say to New Jack Dwellers City, man, before we get out of here? I know you got some more famous shit to do. Case, I really appreciate you coming through the show, bro. Man, you know I'm going to come and check you out. You my dog. Wait, so does that mean you'll be back like the McRib? I can't wait. Man, my I dog. can't wait. You know how we do, man. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Hey, T-Rex, man, take us out with some of that good shit, man. <laughs> Let's take some pictures. <laughs> hey. Hey, and I need you to do that, that little thing for me, bro. You know well, what I'm saying? On the, for the intro. Jack. You make it. Thriller. City. Yeah. Oh.